we hit the 15th week for the first time in history. We hit the 15th week of regular season play in the National Football League for the New England Patriots. And a very, very big week it is. A win this afternoon against the Buffalo Bills. And the Patriots will win their first divisional championship since the merger of the AFL and NFL. And it will be the first time that they ever would have won a divisional title at home. It would also be the first time that they ever would have won a divisional title in the regular season. Gino Capaletti, a very big day for the Patriots. And I got to say that this is what the game of football is all about. The big games. The games like this that mean something. For some reason, the intensity, the fervor, everything that exists in a player reaches uh, an extreme that only games like this will bring out. For some reason, you feel like you run faster, you feel like you hit harder, everything seems to be intensified. These two teams played the first American Football League game in the history of the American Football League, and that's where it has arrived in today's spectacle. And here is the Bills starting offense at wide receiver, Frank Lewis. At left tackle, Ken Jones. Left guard, Reggie McKenzie. Center, Willie Parker. Right guard, Joe Delamalur. At right tackle, Joe Devlin. Tight end, Reuben Gant. Wide receiver, Bob Chandler. Quarterback, Joe Ferguson. Running back, Terry Miller. And the fullback, Curtis Brown. Starting defensively for the Patriots at left end, Mel Lunsford. At nose tackle, Ray Hamilton. Right end, Richard Bishop. The linebackers, Steve King, Ray Kostick, Sam Hunt, Rod Schoet. The cornerbacks, Ray Claiborne and Michael Haynes. And the safeties, Timmy Fox and Doug Bedoin. From Schaefer Stadium, we're standing by for the kickoff between the Patriots and the Buffalo Bills. Joe Ferguson, the Buffalo Bills quarterback, had his biggest days against the Patriots. Has a total of 13 touchdown passes against the Patriots, more than any other team in the National Football League that he has played against. Bob Chandler, wide receiver, leads the team this year, 42 catches, 560 yards five touchdowns this year has caught more touchdown passes against the New England Patriots six in all more than any other team that he has played against in the National Football League so two players having their best best days against the New England Patriots performing for the Bills today okay the captains are now out on the field and as we had sunshine previous to this last break all of a sudden gray skies have moved over Schaefer Stadium it is spitting snow flurries all over the place right now. Not heavy, but they are flying around. And my partner, Santos, is wondering if it's coming from the top of the roof here or what. But I can assure you, Gil, an old Minnesotan like myself knows snow flurries when I see them. But it's not blown snow. Okay. Teams now huddled around their respective coaches on each of the two sidelines. The Patriots have won the toss, have elected to receive. We see Tom Dempsey. Dempsey Getting set to kick off, and he holds the National Football League for the longest field goal in the history of professional football, 63 yards, when he kicked it for New Orleans against the Detroit Lions back in 1970. And there will be a mild wind factor in today's ball game, as we notice the flags blowing from our left to right, but it seems to be a swirling type wind. I'm sure Buffalo has taken what they felt will be the wind at their back. Okay, the Patriots dressed in red. The Buffalo Bills in white with blue pants lined up, almost set to go. And Gil, here's a bigger one. It's all yours. Thank you very much, Gino. Great job as usual. Good afternoon once again, everyone. And the snow is falling now. Light flurries. At first, I thought it might be blowing off the roof, but no, no way at all as you take a look around. 28 degrees at kickoff with a 17-mile-an-hour wind from the northwest, so the wind chill factor will be low. Dempsey kicking off to Raymond Claiborne deep for the Patriots at the five-yard line, and the big one is set to begin for the Patriots. There's the kickoff by Dempsey, end over end. Claiborne will field it in good shape at the 14 to the 15, heading right at the 20, turning outside, gets a block. He's at the 25, he scooters to the 30, bounces out to the 36-yard line. Nice return by Claiborne to the 36-yard line, and the Patriots take over first and 10. Good field position at around their own 36. Down covering for the Bills, Lou Picone. Excellent special teams player, even when he was with the uh, New York Jets. Uh, Doug Becker, a rookie linebacker from Notre Dame, also went on the tackle. Patriots offensive line, Lenkaitis at center, Adams and Hannah the guards, Jordan and Gray the tackles. Double tight end offense with Hasselbeck right, Francis left, Johnson left wing, Cunningham lone setback. Now they ship Francis to the right wing, Johnson in the backfield. First down call, Andy Johnson up the middle, driving it out close to the 40-yard line and about a four-yard gain. It'll be second down and about six yards to go for the Patriots. 
Making the tackle for the Buffalo Bills is Mike Kadish, the seven-year veteran from Notre Dame. He's playing out his option with the Bills, as is uh, Reggie McKenzie, their great guard. It'll be second down and six for the Patriots at their own 40-yard line. Morgan is wide to the right. Again, the double tight end set up. Francis shifts now over to the left wing. Johnson on the right half. Cunningham the fullback, second and six. It is Johnson left side, driving it out to about the 44. And a good four-yard gain, maybe even a little bit more. Drifting over for the Bills to make the stop is linebacker Lucius Sanford. He's a rookie. Good player, too, from Georgia Tech. Ball is spotted at the 45-yard line. So it'll be third down and a yard to go for the Patriots. And Peter Brock checks in as the third tight end and Morgan comes out. The Bills defensively, Williams, Ben Williams, D. Hardison, Mike Kadish, and Sherman White, the front line. Nelson, Graham, and Sanford, the linebackers, Clark, Rome, Freeman, and Green, are the safeties. Double tight ends, Patriots, third down and one. Off the right wing in motion, left goes Hasselbeck. It's Cunningham driving for a first down across the 45 to about the 47. The Bills stack it up, but Sam Bam had made the first down to about the 46-yard line or maybe even a little bit more. Okay, Gil, I think a testing series by the Patriots here offensively. Had good field position to start this ball game at the 36. Went ahead with the plays that they had designed to put in this game and just see how they would work. Two line plunges by Andy Johnson and then Sam Cunningham up the middle. So what they are doing is experimenting with the plays, with the running plays that they wanted to put into this ball game and see what effect that they would have. So it's just a softening up period at this time. It seems like the Patriots are just going to play a little close to start this ball game. First and ten Patriots at their own 46-yard line. Francis is on the right wing. Hasselbeck is tight to the right. Cunningham and Johnson the setbacks. Andy Johnson sweeping right. Gets a great block. Turns it at the 50-yard line, and he's into Buffalo territory. To about the 47. What a block by Cunningham. Just croaked the guy. The outside linebacker coming over, and Cunningham just blasted him out of the way. And Johnson cut up and inside the block all the way to the Bills' 47-yard line. And it's a strong gain of seven yards, second down and three for the Patriots. Patriots, of course, lead the National Football League in rushing. The Buffalo Bills are the poorest team in the league in defensing the run. So no secret about what the Patriots are going to try to do today. It is second and three for the Patriots. The Buffalo 47. This drive started at their own 36. Francis right wing, Morgan wide left. They give us to Cunningham to the left, spinning and twisting and getting to about the 45, where it'll be third down and a yard. For the Patriots at the Buffalo Bill 45-yard line, defensive lineman D. Hardison, rookie from North Carolina State, making the tackle for the Bills. Bills have a fine young team. They've got a lot of good young football players, and they have uh, five picks from the first 35 players that will be chosen, no, four out of the first 35 in next year's draft. They've got something like five picks in the first four rounds or five in the first three. They're going to be in good shape. The crowd continues to come in, by the way. We're going to have close to a sellout. Double tight ends. Hasselbeck right wing. Cunningham hurdles to the left and drives up, and I believe, for a first down. He was spun sideways as he went up over the left side behind Hannah and Gray. And it'll be close to a first down, but I think they made it if they give him his forward progress. If not, I would bet the Patriots would go on fourth down. Well, it was a pat patented uh, Sam Bam dive and they're going to measure now it was close it appeared like he may have gotten over that first down marker and as I see the ball put down I just have to say it's darn close but the Patriots not favoring any one particular side in running this ball they're going to the right they're going to the left they're staying within the two tackles and trying to get some power blocking up the middle it is a first down by half the length of the football so the Patriots with that good first down play uh, so far in this series has enabled them to stay on the ground and I think once again we can expect to see them continue to do that if they are to stay in this drive. First and ten Patriots at the Buffalo Bill 44 yard line. Stanley Morgan wide to the left and again two tight ends. Francis now shifts to the right wing. That becomes the strong side of the offensive line. Grogan on a gift to Cunningham. Quick hitter left side. He has stood up straight and driven back as he got to about the Buffalo 42 at Shane Nelson in there to make the tackle for Buffalo linebacker along with Lucius Sanford and defensive lineman Mike Kadish. The ball is spotted to the Buffalo 41-yard line and it's a gain of three, second down and seven for the Patriots. And now Horace Ivory checks in and Johnson comes out with a play for Steve Grogan. May call for the first pass play in this drive, Gil. That particular run by Sam Cunningham, the offensive set and the trap off left guard was the one he busted against Dallas for 52 yards, but this one certainly didn't work. 
All right, Patriots out. Second down, seven at the Buffalo 41-yard line. Grogan calling signals. It is a give to Ivory to the right, turning at the 40, 35, 30, 25. Cuts inside, still on his feet, down to the Buffalo Bill, 20-yard line. First down, Horace Ivory. Just turning that corner in good shape behind the big guys. Hannah Hasselbeck out there in front. Gray out there in front. A great convoy for Horace Ivory. Uh, what can you say about not only the strength and the size of John Hanna, but the speed? He got out there so fast, and Horace Ivory had nothing to do but just stay on his tail once he made that corner. The blocking superb to keep the Buffalo defense contained to the inside, and Ivory certainly knows what to do once he gets to the outside. Ten and a half minutes to go. First quarter, ball spotted to the Bills' 21-yard line. It's first and ten Patriots. Brogan got him on the march all the way on the ground. It's Johnson to the left side, turning, cutting inside, and whacked down at the 21-yard line. Coming through to make the stop was Mike Kadish for the Buffalo Bills. Did a good job of breaking through the Patriots' blocking and uh, the wedge out in front. It, it appears okay. to feel like the uh, backs are waiting for things to happen. They're not blowing it in there. This is a different type of running attack where they will move laterally and wait for some key blocks to be made and wait for some openings to uh, present themselves. Then they try to bust them in there. They're not running with the authority of just blasting and blowing them in there. They're picking their way in this drive. So it's second down and 10 at the Bills' 21-yard line, and Jackson comes in wide to the right, Morgan wide to the left, Francis tight right. Rogan calling signals, second and 10, passing situation. They don't. They give it to Johnson, sweeping wide right at the 20, and he spills down to the 18-yard line, and that's it. Up hard from the secondary was Steve Freeman to make the tackle for the Buffalo Bills. Gino, can you tell me the one thing about Steve Freeman that makes him a part of Patriots trivia? What can I tell you about Steve Freeman that yep. makes him... I have to repeat that because I'm trying to think of the answer while I'm talking here, and I don't have it. All right. You knew I didn't have it. When the Patriots drafted Steve Grogan in 1975, they had two picks on the fifth round. Grogan was one of them, and Freeman was the other. Oh, he's just a font of knowledge. Oh. Ball spotted at the 17. Third down and six for the Patriots at the Buffalo 17. They give us to Johnson to the right, cutting inside the 15 to about the 14-yard line and ridden down there. So the Patriots stay on the ground, and they are two yards shy of a first down. Sanford over there for Buffalo to make the tackle along with Sherm White. Crowd urging the Patriots to go on fourth down. It'll be fourth, and let's see, they spot at the 14. It'll be fourth and a long two for the Patriots, and I think they're going to go. They are. Well, no matter which way you look at it, if they don't get it, they've got the Bills deep in their own territory. But with the sort of running game that they have, you know, I think they want to sort of establish right. something well, it, here. It has a lot to do with their overall momentum, too. Should they get it, it'll boost them. And if they don't get it, it'll just set them back for a moment. Three tight ends. The give comes to Johnson to the right. Driving, driving, close to the 12. Picked up and driven back. It'll depend mm. on forward progress and the placement of the I ball. I don't think he got it, Gil. Bills' offense is coming onto the field, and no, they stopped him at the 13-yard line, and so the Bills take over on downs. First and 10 at their own 13. Let's take a timeout with the game scoreless. Homeowners, are oil burner repairs killing your budget? Is your present service contract too high? Douglas Oil has a fabulous offer for you. You see, Douglas Oil offers you complete protection with an all-inclusive oil burner contract for only $15 per year. You heard right, $15 per year when you buy your oil from Douglas. Listen, no limit on service calls, day or night. Includes parts, labor, annual cleanups. No gimmicks. Parts covered listed, parts not covered are listed. Money cheerfully refunded if not completely satisfied within 60 days. Why pay more? Examine our contract today. No obligation. Call today or stop in. Check out the new super discount on oil. Save two and a half cents per gallon for prompt payment. Douglas Oil, thousands of satisfied customers in the area. Check the conservation specials on boilers and burners. Stop in today. Douglas Oil, 667 Douglas Avenue, Providence, or call 331-5223. 331-5223. Douglas Oil, super service from a super company with a super deal. Okay, somewhat of a conservative uh, drive employed by the Patriots that time, Gil. They just continued to stay on the ground, strictly on the ground, did not try one pass. Had a fourth and two situation. I thought for sure that they would try some sort of pass and that 
particular situation. But these are the things now that give the other team a little life at this moment. So this is the one thing the Patriots have to try to avoid and let these teams who are a little bit inferior have a little breathing room and a lot of things can happen. First and 10 Buffalo, their own 13. It's Miller, the tailback, and Brown, the fullback, in an eye formation. Joe Ferguson, the quarterback. Play action fake on first down. Back to throw. He fires wide open. Ruben Ginn at the 30. Fumbles the ball. Bouncing ahead at the 45. Picked up by the Bills' Bob Chandler. But I think it's going to be called an incompleted pass. It is. Gant was wide open. He was open. And Joe Ferguson, play action. Fake to his back. Going off right tackle. Drifted back. Had Gant wide open. Lobbed it over the linebacker. And just laid it right in his hands. He took a vicious hit as he turned up field. And the ball then went. 20 yards upfield to the 50. He caught the ball at the 30, was hit at the 32. The ball popped all the way out to the 50. Bob Chandler picked it up very close to being called a reception and fumble and uh, could have put the Buffalo Bills in outstanding position. All right, the Bills are out second and 10 at their own 13. Chandler to the right, Frank Lewis to the left. Joe Ferguson has his back split wide in the backfield now on second down and 10 at their own 13. And the give is on a draw to Curtis Brown, turning left. He is hit, spins away at the 10, gets out close to the 13. He's across the 15 to the 16 or 17. Nice piece of running that's by all, Curtis Brown. Right, that's all it was because the blocking was not set up. I think he was forced wider by Ricky Bishop than he intended to go, but he got away from him and then worked his way upfield with some outstanding running. So a nice five, approximately five-yard gain for Buffalo gives them a chance for a first down on this third down situation. It'll be third and six for the Bills at their own 17. Now Hunt is out and Kahn is in as the fifth defensive back. Ray Caustic starting an inside linebacker replacing the injured Steve Nelson. Bills come out. Miller and Brown are the setbacks. Chandler is left. To the right is Lewis. The backs are split wide. The tight end is left. Ferguson calling signals for the Buffalo Bills. He's straight back to throw. Look at that up. Looking fires to the near side and it is incomplete. And a flag went down. Flag went down back near where Ferguson was setting up. The pass was intended at the 22 for Curtis Brown. It came up short. Penalty is called against the Bills. Patriots will decline it and force Buffalo to punt. He had Gant wide open over the middle. Did not see him. He went over to Brown out on the left flat on the sidelines. But a holding call, of course, would have nullified holding. the game. Number had he thrown the ball offense. to Gant, who appeared Decline. to be the primary receiver. So Buffalo coming out passing and back in their own territory. They have nothing to lose in this ball game, so they're going to open it up and play kind of loose. And the Patriots, as the game goes on, has to start loosening up as well. Rusty Jackson averaging nearly 40 yards a punt, 39 and a half. Punting for Buffalo. Deep for the Patriots is Morgan at midfield. And Jackson is kicking into a pretty stiff wind. He's standing at his own two-yard line. Patriots on several occasions in the last few weeks have nearly broken a putt all the way. Jackson line drives it up to the short man, bounces. Westbrook doesn't pick it up and the Bills down it. It's picked up by one of the uh, wave men to try to run it downfield, but he couldn't do it as Westbrook wisely jumped out of the way of the ball and it never touched him. So the Patriots have it in great field position, first and 10 at the Buffalo Bill 43-yard line with 6.50 to go in the first quarter with a score, nothing, nothing. Let's take a timeout. Now the Patriots defense stops the Bill on, Bills on three downs, forcing them to punt. The Pats have great field position at the Buffalo 43. And I'd say we have a crowd at 60,000 right here at Schaefer, despite the cold and snowy conditions of yesterday. And 
road conditions. Dallas leads Philadelphia 14-0 first quarter. Cleveland 7, the Jets nothing first quarter. St. Louis 7, the Giants nothing first quarter. Washington 7, Atlanta nothing the first quarter. Whoever wins that Washington-Atlanta game will set themselves up uh, very well for a wild card berth. Be interesting to see, Gino, if on this series the Patriots decide to go to the air. I'm interested myself. I'm not sure. They might try to stay on the ground again with this good field position. Morgan left. Jackson right. First down. Grogan. Bootlegging right, pitches it back to Andy Johnson at the 45, at the 40, at the 35, running hard, first down to the Buffalo 31. And that was the Veer, Veer tight play with Grogan sprinting down the line of scrimmage and pitching back just as he was hit. And Johnson rambled it for 12 yards to the Buffalo Bill 31-yard line. They mark it at the 32, do not give him forward progress to the 31. And it's an 11-yard gain for Andy Johnson, first and 10 Patriots. Similar to the quarterback option that you see so much of in college football, a spin-out option. Grogan just fakes left to Cunningham, going straight up the middle, spins right around, then turns, goes right. But that time, it was no option. He was going to pitch it right away to Andy Johnson, going wide right. First and ten Patriots at the Buffalo 32. Grogan on a give to Cunningham. Off the left side, he smashes it down to the Buffalo 25-yard line. And a strong seven-yard gain behind Hannah Gray and Adams, who would cut out and up the field and knock out a linebacker. Down to the Buffalo 25-yard line, second down and three, Patriots. Thus far, every play has been on the ground for the Patriots. And now Carlos Pennywell comes in. And Stanley Morgan will come out as the wide receiver. Morgan bothered a bit, uh, injured his toe last week against the Cowboys. Also played that game with a bad back. And Pennywell has been coming strong. So Pennywell is wide left and Jackson wide right. Second and three, this could be a passing down for the Patriots. Brogan, no, on a give to Ivory, turning it wide right at the 25, puts his head down and runs inside the 25, close to a first down. It'll depend on the placement of the ball, which is the 23-yard line. Give them third and one at the Buffalo 23. Shane Nelson knocking him out along with Mario Clark on the near side of the field. The Patriots going left to right. Now Brock and Hasselbeck come in as extra tight ends. Patriots have the shirts on with the little pockets in them so the guys can keep their hands warm kangaroo pouches. Yeah, did you see that thing at Pittsburgh yesterday? Uh-huh. My, my, they play great in the snow. Third down and a yard to go, Patriots. The Buffalo Bill 23, double tight end, Hasselbeck right wing. Cunningham the fullback, Grogan calling signals. It's to Cunningham to the left, spinning and driving to about the 22, close to a first down. He was hit uh, by Lucius Sanford, the linebacker, as the hole was just not cleared out for him, and he spun off of the hit by Sanford and twisted down to the 22-yard line. Right, Gil. Cunningham going left tackle that time. I believe the Patriots are short. And uh, Cunningham was really stacked up there. The Buffalo defense mounting up into the holes that they're anticipating the Patriots are going to go. And uh, fortunately, we'll find out if it's a first down or not. No, he's short. He's a couple inches shy. And Cunningham then just spun back to the inside and got a couple of yards. Otherwise, the Patriots would be faced with a fourth and two, possibly, had he been stacked up. So good effort by Cunningham. Got it close, but once again, the Patriots just staying right on the ground. Don Calhoun comes in, and he will replace well, this Sam is all Cunningham. A little disorganized here as Calhoun comes in very late. All right, the Patriots break it out. It is fourth down and inches at the Buffalo, 22. Snow falling. Brogan calling signals. Quarterback sneak. He drives for a first down. Just behind John Hanna to the left side. All Grogan had to do was fall forward the length of his body, and he had a first down. He uh. stands 6'4". And on pile, and he's got a first down. I don't even bother measuring it. It's down to the 21-yard line. As we look out at the crowd here at Schaefer this afternoon, bundled up warm and as snug as they can, the stadium is a sea of red and blue hats, stocking caps. Well, what Buffalo the, calls for a timeout. I mean, for a measurement. Oh, they've got it. You know, look at the uh, the capes that the uh, spirits of New England, the Patriots cheerleaders have. Pretty snappy looking capes, aren't they? Yes, they are. You and I, ought to, you and I ought to get a couple of those when we go down to Miami next week and swoop into uh, swoop into Miami with those. <laughs> They're good looking capes. They really are with the tri-cornered hats, yes, red boots. Are. We'd look like a million bucks. First and ten Patriots at the Buffalo 21. Cunningham back in at fullback. Offset left half ivory. First down Patriots. Bills 21. Grogan calling signals. No score. First quarter. Grogan bootlegging right. Going to keep it. Now he pitches it. The ball is bouncing loose. It is kicked by the Buffalo Bills up at the 35 and rolls out of bounds. It'll be a Patriot ball back at the 37-yard line. They lose 16 yards. 
of field position. A great play by the left end, Ben Williams, because two men were about to jump on it, two Patriots. He shoved them out of the way and afforded that ball to stay loose. Grogan was the last guy who had a shot at it. He went to dive at it, and Williams threw him out of the way and almost made a recovery. The ball skirted out of bounds, so an aborted option play, one they just ran with Andy Johnson on that first down play. Came right back with it. That time, Grogan tried to keep it going to the right, and up the middle, he was whacked. The ball torn loose from him, and then he made the pitch as he main, uh, maintained position. And the ball just fumbling loose, so the Patriots not looking that crisp. Second down and 26. They lose 16 yards. Grogan back to throw his first pass of the afternoon. Great protection. Fires near side. Right into the hands of Cunningham. He dropped it, and it bounced from his hands into the hands of defensive back Charles Romes. But Romes dropped it. Ball was right on the money by Grogan. Well, I thought it was thrown just a little bit behind him. He right. elected to go to Cunningham late. He was a safety man. He had Horace Ivory over the middle, wide open, coming out of the backfield. But he wheeled right around and looked for Cunningham way out on the left flat as Grogan was just forced a little bit to the right side in his setup. Surprised that he threw it over there, and he threw just a little bit behind Cunningham. The ball popped up and almost intercepted. Now, this is all giving Buffalo a little life all these things that are happening yep. up to this point they got to come up with a big play they're letting them hang in right now Buffalo with a three man front and five defensive backs third and 26 Grogan straight back to throw fires over the middle it is caught by Horace Ivory at the 30 and he is hit fumble, fumble. ball recovered by Buffalo. Buffalo at the 33 yard line Making the fumble recovery for the Bills is Randy McClanahan. And so the Bills take over first and 10 at their own 34. And the Patriot offense now twice has driven down to the Buffalo 21. And twice they've stalled. Same thing as last week against Dallas. And you just can't let those things continue to happen. But Buffalo now sitting at their own 34-yard line following that fumble from Horace Ivory. Coming out of the backfield, circling in over the middle. He was open on the previous play. So obviously they spotted that, came right back to it, only from the opposite side. He caught it right over the middle, about five yards down from the line of scrimmage. And the linebacker, middle linebacker, Tom Graham, just came up and whacked him, forced that ball loose. John Hanna had a shot at it, squirmed loose. The Buffalo Bills recovered, and here we go with first down from their own 34. All right, the Bills, first and 10. They've got uh, Chandler to the right, Frank Lewis to the left, Brown and Miller the running backs, tight end right, Reuben Gant. Patriots in their standard 3-4 defense. Ferguson on a give to Char Curtis Brown, turning left at the 35, 40, strips a tackler and gets it across the 45 to the 46 and 7. Finally brought down by Tim Fox out of the secondary and uh, Rod Schott, but Buffalo has a first down, their first first down of the game at their own 47-yard line. The Patriots have had two chances to score at the Buffalo 21 and have come up empty both times. Thus, they have let the Bills remain in the game early. And you can't do that against anybody in the NFL. Wide right, Chandler. Wide left, Lewis. Ferguson looks at the Patriot defensive front. First and 10, Buffalo, their own 47. Ferguson, long count now. Former Arkansas quarterback. They give us to Roland Hooks to the right, and he drives up to midfield in a gain of three. Mel Lunsford is there, Ray Hamilton there, and Steve King all making the tackle for the Patriots. It'll be second down and seven, Buffalo at midfield. Now Tony McGee checks in. Mack the sack. The Patriots designated pass rusher. People are still coming into the ball game. Snow coming down a little harder now. Hasn't uh, affected the field yet, but if it keeps going, we'll be in, uh, in a mess in a while. Second and seven, Buffalo at midfield. Now Miller shifts out of left half to the tailback in an eye formation. Ferguson long count. Ferguson the give to Terry Miller, sweeping wide to the right, turning the corner, and cut down as he gets to about the Patriot 48-yard line. Ray Caustic over there and Rod Schote for the Patriots. Good play by Raymond Claiborne that time, too, Gil, because that time Miller following Reggie McKenzie, the outstanding pulling guard, and boy, he was heading down steam. Claiborne just got in, knifed underneath there, and managed to trip Miller up. But still, it was good for a two, three-yard gain, and the Buffalo Bills on the move. Third and three. Well, third and four, they call it now, as they place the ball at the Patriot 47. Third down and four. Slot left formation for Buffalo. Gant is in the slot. The backs into a wide split behind Ferguson on third down. 
Fifth defensive back in for the Patriots. Back to throw Ferguson. Here's the rush. He gets it away. Intercepted Michael Haynes. Back at the 30-yard line. He tries to break away, but he is tackled at the 30. But Michael Haynes comes up with his sixth pass interception of the season. Just floating back there to make the interception. It may have come at probably defensive back. It may have come at probably one of the key times in this ball game. You never know which are the big plays in the course of a ball game. A lot of times they do take place in the first quarter, but Bob Chandler running a slant pattern, Joe Ferguson back to pass, hesitated, and after he hesitated, if he had given it to him right away, he was open, but once he hesitated and then threw it, Michael Haynes just sitting there. It was obviously an easy interception that came right to him and Chandler had all kinds of trouble getting to that ball. Well, let's pause 15 seconds right here. This is the BZ Patriots Football Network. Football fans, you may like him, you may hate him, but you can't ignore him. Howard Cosell. WHIM is the place to hear Howard Cosell sports commentary, speaking of sports. Weekday mornings at 845, 1110, WHIM Providence. Okay, and other games are on the National Football League. Yesterday's scores, 35 to 13, Pittsburgh over Baltimore, 45 to 14. The Detroit Lions just did a number on the Minnesota Vikings. Well, Gino appeared like Minnesota. Uh, go ahead. Uh, Minnesota just getting out of that squeaker. Last week against Philadelphia, it's almost like it was just, it took so much out of them that they were unable to get going yesterday, but Detroit, just awesome. How, they, do, you, how do you figure them at home where they are just virtually invincible? At right, home? right. They just win a lot of games at home. Uh, they have that history. I re recall the Patriots, I think it was about four years ago, went down there after winning their first two ball games. 76, the playoff year. Right. Detroit just did a number on them and wiped them right off the field. They defeated the San Diego Chargers this year. A lot of teams. Denver. Patriots first and 10 at their own 30. Grogan back to throw on the near side and out is complete to Harold Jackson up at the 37 yard line. Gain of about seven. Cunningham is out and Don Calhoun is in. Patriots have a slot left this time. Wide left is Jackson. The give comes to Horace Ivory to the right, cutting upfield at the 40. Fumble! Ball loose, still loose, way back on the other Buffalo side of midfield, and I think the Bills recovered at their own 45. They did. All right, Horace Ivory having a difficult time today, Gil. He fumbled on the previous series after catching a little turn-in pattern over the middle and now running off right tackle. He seemed to be stacked up, but somebody came in and made another hit, and the ball popped loose. Buffalo making another recovery the Patriots just having all kinds of difficulty in getting untracked. Well, you hit it right on the head. Difficulty getting untracked. They're sluggish right now. Good opening drive stalled. Second drive stalled. Third drive, they lose on the fumble. Minute and 41 to go in the quarter, no score. Buffalo first and 10. Their own 46. High formation. Curtis Brown and Terry Miller in the backfield for the Bills. Ferguson. On a give to no one, play action fake, back to throw, he fires his man, is open and is planted away, beautifully great defensive play by Doug Bedoin. All right, Doug left his man out on the left flat and came in, obviously seeing that that was their pet pattern, the one they completed, in which Gant then fumbled after being hit for no completion with their first series, they came back with it here, Doug Bedoin reading Joe Ferguson excellently, just cut back from his left flat and veered back, got in the path of it, almost came up with the interception. Ferguson is now 0 for 4 in passing, and he has thrown one interception. Minute and a half to go in the first quarter of a scoreless game. Chandler wide to the right, Lewis to the left. Curtis Brown and Hooks are now the setbacks. Tight end right, Chandler. The give is to Curtis Brown, the fullback. Big hole up to midfield, driving, still driving down to the Patriot 45. Excellent piece of running by the second year back, Curtis Brown. He was their second draft choice a couple of years ago. From Missouri, 5'10", 203, a hard runner. Ball spotted at the Patriot 45-yard line. Make it third down and a yard to go. Buffalo at the Patriot 45. Gil, the Patriots are a little tight up to this point. Uh, I just have to say that because of the type of play I've seen from them thus far, offensively and defensively, they're just a little tight. I think the importance of the game and what it means is having its effect at this point. All right, the Bills, third down and a yard to go at the Patriots 45-yard line. The Patriots have nine men mounted up on the line of scrimmage. The give comes to Brown, and he is stood up straight by Sam Hunt and stopped short of the first down. What a great play by Sam Hunt. Boy, what a play. Oh. Sam Hunt just came across that line of scrimmage and stood Curtis Brown straight up like a flagpole. Finally, they wrestled him down, but Hunt put a shot on him. Or Sam weighs in. They've got him on the program at... Uh, 
253 pounds, but I would guess he's closer to 260, 262. Ball spotted at the 46-yard line, and Buffalo will go on fourth and a long yard at the Patriot 46. Oh, big play. Ferguson, double tight end, Chandler on the right wing. Ferguson on fourth down in a yard at the Patriot 46. Let's see what Joe Ferguson does. Long count. The give comes to Terry Miller. First down, running hard to the Patriot 42-yard line, maybe the 41, before Claiborne finally rolls him down. But a big play for the Buffalo Bills, and it is snowing harder here at Schaefer Stadium right now. And this is perhaps... We have the end of the first period, right? Right, that's the end of the first quarter. The score at the end of one quarter of play here at Schaefer Stadium, nothing, nothing. They were at the 16, and yep. uh, that's where the fourth down play was unsuccessful. And I definitely think that they should have gone for a field goal. And, of course, it's, it's easy to say now, but the thinking in these type games is to get on that board. In big games, you want to get on the board first, but especially in a game where you have inclement weather, it's more important to get that lead first. First and 10 Buffalo at the Patriot 40. Lewis left, Chandler right. Snowing harder at Schaefer. The give is to Curtis Brown, turning it wide to the left side, being chased down. He is at the 35 and down to the 30 of the Patriots. To the 29 and a first down. For the Buffalo Bills, they spot it at the Patriot 28-yard line. The lights are on at Schaefer, and the snow is coming down. And this was not the forecast for today, I might add. Gill, it is really coming down. There's a cover on the field right now, a very light cover of snow on the field presently. And if this continues to come down like this, we can expect to see more cover, and it can only make the playing ability of all these players that much more treacherous first and 10 buffalo at the patriot 28 the bills are on the march they've got miller as the tail back in an eye formation ferguson calling signals for buffalo on a give to terry miller to the left side and he is cut down by richard bishop at the line of scrimmage bishop just knocked him out from under his pins second down and 10 buffalo at the patriot 28 yard line roland hooks and terry miller's switch in the uh, Buffalo backfield all day long as one of them brings in a play. Miller had a big game, 208 yards rushing a couple of weeks ago against the Giants. On the season, Miller has 863 yards coming into this game. All right, Buffalo's out, second and 10. Patriot 28, Chandler left, Lewis right. They've got hooks offset as the right half, and the sun is shining a bit through the snow, if you believe it. The back's in a wide split. Ferguson drops straight back to pass. The blitz is on. He gets it away. His man is there. It is incomplete, nearly intercepted by linebacker Rod Schott, cutting right in front of Bob Chandler. They had Haynes one-on-one -on -one and Chandler, and Schott dropping back, dove through the air right in front of Chandler, nearly picked it off. He didn't, however, so it's third and ten Buffalo at the Patriot 28. Oh, it's snowing like crazy, and the sun is shining. One of those kind of days. Once again, Joe Ferguson... And good for the Patriots, I believe, at this point. He is picking out the wrong receiver. That time, Curtis Brown was wide open out on the left flat. He elected to go to the wide receiver, Chandler, slanting in over the middle, almost intercepted as Rod Schott left Brown out on the flat and went back before Ferguson even threw. Third down and 10, Buffalo at the Patriot 28. Chandler to the right, Lewis to the left. Gant, the tight end, is right. The backs are in a wide split. Hooks and Brown. Ferguson, long count. Ferguson, the give to Roland Hooks, turning it wide to the right at the 30, on his feet at the 25, at the 20, the 15, at the 10, the 5, and in. Touchdown. Roland Hooks rips 28 yards for a Buffalo touchdown on third and 10. And so, with 13-21 to go in the quarter, the Bills are in front 6 to nothing. Gill, the Patriots guilty of poor tackling and poor pursuit on that play. Roland Hook seemed to be stacked up at the line of scrimmage when he turned up a little bit. He got some blocks containing some men to the outside, or the inside. He bolted to the outside. Bob Chandler downfield was just fighting off Raymond Claiborne at the goal line. Claiborne was back at the goal line indicating that Chandler's pattern fooled Claiborne and thinking it was a halfback pass, but he had him in the end zone, and Hooks just went cut right inside, and a quick touchdown for Buffalo. The point after by Tom Dempsey is up. It is good, and Buffalo leads 7 to nothing. Well, now, how do you like that piece of action? Let's take a timeout now with a score. The Bills, 7. The Patriots, nothing. Boat owners are usually very demanding, insisting on sparing no expense to equip your boat with the very latest equipment and options, and that's the way it should be. Why then should you be any less demanding when it comes to the insurance you select for your boat? It's every bit as important to be very careful about selecting who insures your vessel. 
someone who specializes in marine insurance, someone who speaks your language and understands the differences in depreciation, for example, or whether your spinnaker is covered when racing, or scores of other details that could cause you problems at claim time. Someone like Ben Basin Yacht Insurance in the new Melville Yacht Basin in Portsmouth, Rhode Island. Rhode Island in southeastern Massachusetts, newest and finest location. Ben Basin Yacht Insurance, professional, knowledgeable marine insurance agents, will make sure you have the right carrier and insurance plan for your vessel. Stop in and talk with Richard Wilson at Ben Basin Yacht Insurance. Let him design a perfect insurance plan for your pride and joy. It just might be the best piece of equipment you can buy for your vessel. In Rhode Island, call 683-4512. Well, that man who did it here two years ago, Roland Hooks, has just stuck it to the Patriots, a 28-yard touchdown run, and Buffalo leads 7 to nothing. And, Gino, I hope that that woke the Patriots up a little bit because right now, at this point, they have kind of been sleepwalking a little bit. It was just not a good effort on that run, a third down and 10 situation, and they ran a wide sweep to the right side. There was no pursuit. Once Roland Hooks turned that corner, there was just no one around, and he just had to pick his way downfield as to the last man, and that was Raymond Claiborne. He cut in off of Bob Chandler's block. But the pursuit and the tackling, just not good on that play. They're tight. The Patriots are tight offensively and defensively, as we just witnessed right there. They're going to have to start loosening up. Once again, the importance of getting out on top in these kind of games. And with this kind of weather, we don't know what to expect today. So important. High Dempsey's kickoff, end over end. And chasing Claiborne back to the one. He's up the middle of the five. Ten. Fifteen. 20, turns the corner at the 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, hurdles out close to midfield. Superb return by Claiborne. Out close to midfield, they'll mark him as having stepped out where? Oh, I see, back at the 41. Okay, a foot went out at the 41-yard line. That's where the Patriot offense goes to work, first and 10 at their own 41. About four minutes ago, it was snowing like crazy, and now there's still some flurries coming down, but the sun is shining brilliantly. A wacky day. Patriots first and 10, their own 41. They trail seven to nothing. Ivory and Cunningham are the setbacks. Slot right is Morgan. Wide right is Jackson. Grogan, play action, rolling to the right, firing over the middle, complete to Francis at the 45. Russ turning outside at the 40. He's at the 44, 46 of Buffalo in a first down. Russ Francis to the Buffalo Bill 46-yard line, just grabbed by a shoe top by D. Hardison, Buffalo defensive lineman. But they hit the big target, Russ Francis, for a first down. Right over the middle, little dunk pass. Uh, Grogan that time sprinting out to the right. He had uh, Jackson and Stanley Morgan in the slot on that side. They went straight up field, taking their men out, clearing. And then Russ Francis over the middle, had to stop and wait for it, fought off a tackle from Graham, and then worked his way loose. First and 10 Patriots, Buffalo 46. This time it is Westbrook wide to the right. Grogan on a give to uh, Ivory, trying to spin to the left, trying to break a tackle. He can't. He is hauled down at the 47-yard line. Nice play defensively by the Buffalo Bills. Lucius Sanford was over there for Buffalo, along with Sherman White, the right defensive end. Sanford turned it in. White made the tackle. No gain on the play. It'll be second down for the Patriots. Uh, just shows you what a big play individually will do. Stanford that time managed to hold on to Horace Ivory's jersey with one hand and prevented him from getting to the outside. Had he been able to avoid that tackle and get to the outside, he had plenty of running room. It's a loss of a yard, second and 11 Patriots at the Buffalo 47. Morgan is left, Jackson is right, Francis tight to the right, the back's in a wide split. Rogan back to throw. Lots of time. Fires deep. Francis drops the ball at the 30-yard line. Oh, too bad. Russ Francis turning in, lined up on the right side, tight end position, straight up the field. He just went right down that right hash mark, turned in, was wide open, hit him right in the chest, and he dropped it right at his feet. So a, almost a certain reception at the 30-yard line comes up for no gain, and now the Patriots are faced with a third and 10 situation. Back well, they're at Buffalo's 47-yard uh, line now. Patriots two out of four in third down situation so far. They trail the Bills 7 to nothing here with 11.36 to go in the first half. Jackson is right, Morgan is left. The back split it wide, Cunningham and Ivory. Johnson has a pulled hamstring. He is expected back sometime. Brogan calling signals on third down and 10. Steve straight back to throw. 
sets it up, avoids the rush, runs up the middle at the 45 of Buffalo at the 40, puts his head down and drives to the Bills' 36-yard line, very close to a first down. Excellent piece of running by Grogan right up the middle. It'll be fourth down, I think, in inches. They're going to bring the chains out to measure. Oh, yeah, it's uh, just short of a first down, Gil, but no question what the Patriots will do. Great bit of scrambling by Steve Grogan, who does it better than anyone, especially up the middle. Good pressure being applied by the Buffalo defense that time. He backtracked. He's been having time to throw, but the Buffalo Bills mounted a good rush on him. And Grogan that time just got away from somebody deep in the backfield and worked his way upfield close to a first down. Hasselbeck and Brock come in now as the extra tight end. So the Patriots go with a three tight end offense and fourth down and inches at the Buffalo 36. This is the third time in the game that the Patriots have gone on fourth and short. It has stopped snowing here at Schaefer, and the sun is now shining brilliantly on the field of play, and hopefully on the Patriots' fortunes. Grogan turns around and whispers to his one running backs. Grogan quarterback sneak driving left, and he got an assist from, <laughs> from I think it was Ivory. Running up came back. up the backside and just drove his shoulder right into Grogan's back to propel him forward for a first down. It must have been what Grogan whispered to him. I'm going left. You come up the backside and shove me forward, big guy. And that's what it was to the 35-yard line. It was Sam Cunningham. First and 10 for the Patriots at the Bills' 35. Ball on the near hash mark. Patriots going from right to left. Cunningham and Ivory are split in the backfield. Jackson is wide to the right, Morgan to the left. Francis tight right, first and 10 Patriots, Buffalo 35. Now in motion comes Jackson. Uh -oh. Play action fake Jackson's Grogan. in motion. Back to throw, fires, and it is incomplete. And Jackson was in motion. He started to turn upfield a split second before the ball was snapped. Realized he was off course and tried to straighten himself out, but it was too late. Now that's the call. The Patriots will be penalized five yards as Harold Jackson lined up on the right flank, then goes in motion, coming in towards the, the ball. He breaks it upfield uh, just as he gets to the tight end, but that time, as Gill pointed out, he Illegal stepped a little motion. forward, then tried to get Man, back on course, but it was too late as the official throwing the flag right away, and you could see that the play was going to be for naught, but almost intercepted. So by running through with the play, the Buffalo Bills saw the flag as well, but making every effort to come up with an interception. The Bills declined the penalty to make it second and 10 for the Patriots at the Buffalo 35. Now the sun has gone back under a cloud. Grogan three for six so far, 25 yards passing. Westbrook is wide to the right, Morgan to the left. Cunningham and Ivory the split backs, Francis tight right, second and 10, Buffalo 35-yard line. Grogan on a draw to Ivory to the right, turning, stutter stepping, turning outside at the 30, still running, and he's down to about the 29-yard line. Chased down and brought down by Shane Nelson of the Buffalo Bills, along with the defensive lineman Ben Williams. It is spotted just inside the 30 at the 29 to make it third down and four for the Patriots at the Buffalo Bill 29. Now Jackson comes in and Westbrook comes out. Buffalo leading seven to nothing. Ten minutes, ten seconds left to play. In the first half of action, 28-yard touchdown run by Roland Hooks. He's been death on the Patriots for a couple of years. Jackson is to the left, Morgan to the right, Francis right wing. Backs are split wide. Now Francis goes in motion to the left side as Grogan drops straight back to throw. Sets it up. Fires to Francis. He's got it at the 25. Driven back, trying to drive forward, and it is a first down, I believe, or darn close. He tried to stretch it out across the 25-yard line. They and don't the let official it came right back and pulled it back in, but that's where the first down marker is, just at the 25. So once again, the Patriots face with fourth and inches. And again, Brock and Hasselbeck come in. Jackson and Morgan come out. It is fourth down and in inches at the Buffalo 25-yard line. Well, no reason to believe that they won't continue to go with that quarterback sneak. They've been able to get it. You like to do it to minimize the ball handling and the thrust into that line. Just get it and go right away. Bills with a nine-man front. It is fourth and in inches. The give is to Cunningham driving first down to the Buffalo 23. Sam to the right side that time behind Len Kytus, who blocked to the right along with Adams and Shelby Jordan. It is a first down for the Patriots. They were also lined up with the double tight ends there 
Francis uh, and Hasselbeck with Hasselbeck on the wing. A very definitely a strong right formation and Cunningham hurdled for the first down to the Buffalo 23. First and 10 Patriots at the Bills 23 yard line. Moving right to left, the Patriots trying to drive for a tying touchdown here in the first half. You know, the Patriots right now continuing to struggle in this first half. Well, when you're faced with all those fourth and inches situations and then just going for those inches, it means that you're playing that type of ball game. You're playing it close to the vest. You're trying to keep it on the ground. A lot of times now we have seen the Patriots in those uh, particular situations fake that uh, line run or fake that first down effort and go for the touchdowns and open up this game a little bit. But playing the way they are, they're playing it close. There's no question about it. First and 10 Patriots, Buffalo 23-yard line, slot right formation. Running backs Cunningham and Ivory. Brogan on first down at the Bills 23. Steve Long count. It is a give to Ivory to the left, slashing it upfield and down to the Buffalo 19-yard line. As he started to sweep wide left and stopped on a dime and cut it upfield inside the contained man. It is just inside the 20 to the 19-yard line and a gain of four. It'll be second down and a long six for the Patriots. I'm going to call it second and seven because they mark it down now at the 20-yard line. Second down and seven Patriots at the Buffalo 20-yard line. Now, once again, the Patriots are dominating the play. Offensively, they've had the ball considerably more than Buffalo, but yet Buffalo leads... 7 and nothing. Double tight ends now. Wide left is Morgan. Francis tight left. Hasselbeck tight right. Second and seven. The give is to Ivory. Sweeping wide to the right. Turns the corner Good at the 20. Ball. 15 and wrestle down and out of bounds. Inside the 15 at the 13-yard line. Over there was Mario Clark taking Horace Ivory out of bounds, but he turned the corner in very good shape and drove it upfield to the Buffalo 13, very close to a first down. It'll be third and inches if indeed they do not have a first down. Oh, a good block by Sam Adams that time, the pulling guard going right. He just fought off the linebacker, would not let him get any kind of position on Ivory. Ivory just stayed right on Adams' tail. And once he made that hook block, then he scooted to the outside, and Clark then coming up with the tackle, but he had the sidelines to his advantage and forced Ivory out of bounds there. So the Patriots... Just uh, working their way downfield. It appears like it's a first down, yeah. and it is. So you got to say that right now they're in great position. And I think as they continue to start to move this ball, I think the momentum that they've been searching for in this ball game, the unity that they're looking for offensively, will then go over to the defense. And that's what you got to have. Somebody has got to pick this team up. Somebody has got to be the catalyst, whether it be an individual or whether it be an offense or defense. So it's first and ten for the Patriots at the Buffalo 13-yard line. Far hash mark. Patriots going right to left. Jackson wide to the right. Double tight ends. Hasselbeck left. Francis right. Now Hasselbeck shifts to, or rather Francis shifts to the left wing. Cunningham and Ivory in the backfield. They give us to Horace Ivory. Sweeping wide to the left. Turning upfield at the ten. Running inside. Hard down to the six to the five. Good running. Horace Ivory. Good running. He cut it back inside and then to the outside. He sets up those blocks when he does that. It's just a wide sweep to the left side. Lined up at the right halfback position. He starts going laterally to the line of scrimmage. Grogan then spins out, hands it to him, going laterally. He cuts back to the inside and then out to the outside once again. He sets up those blocks when you make those dips and cuts. Ball spotted down at the Buffalo six-yard line. It's second and three for a first down. Second and six for a touchdown. For the Patriots at the Buffalo Six. This drive started at their own 41-yard line on a fine kickoff return by Raymond Claiborne. Now an eye formation for the Patriots, and they shift out of the eye. Ivory to the left half. Francis on the right wing. Second and three. Cunningham up the middle. Inside the five and down for a first down, I believe. Or very close to a first down inside the three-yard line. Up off right tackle following the block of Shelby Jordan. They unpile. The ball is marked just shy of the three. It'll be third and inches at the three and a half. Third and inches for a first down. Third and about three and a half for a touchdown. All right, you can see the offensive line starting to fire out a little better now, Gil, because that time Hannah and Gray almost beat the count. They were flying right at that snap, and that's what you got to do. As soon as that ball is snapped, you have that timing down. You're firing out. Then you can get the momentum, you can get the power and the power blocking, and you can get those kind of holes for Cunningham and Ivory to run in. Patriots seem to be taking control. Let's see. It is third and inches at the Buffalo three and a half. In motion left goes Hasselbeck. They give us to Cunningham, smashing down and in. Touchdown, Sam Bear. Oh, listen to this crowd. They were hungry for that one. Okay, 
with 6.10 to go in the half. The Patriots get on the board. They send Don Hasselbeck in motion from the right side. He turns up in the hole. Now Cunningham can elect to either follow Hasselbeck off, off a left tackle or cut back over the middle. But that gives you that extra blocker in the area that you want to run. And this time it opened up over the middle and Cunningham just cut it back and had the opening and then bowled his way from the two-yard line into the end zone. So it's a three-yard run for Cunningham and David Posey will attempt the point after with Dick Kahn to hold. Touchdown coming with 6.10 to go in the half. Snap ball down, the kick is up, and it is good. And so it's tied up at 7-7 seven seven as the Patriots drive 60 yards. For the tying touchdown here in the second quarter, a couple of passes by Grogan along that drive, but most of it along the ground with some solid power of football. They had three fourth down situations in that drive, but were able to drive them out and pick up the first down on each occasion. And Gino... You mentioned it uh, a couple of minutes ago that the Patriots offense seemed to be picking it up a bit and certainly uh, they could start to turn this game around completely. Well, once they've decided uh, their strategy being that they're going to keep this ball on the ground and they want to run against this Buffalo defense and they have not deviated from it at all and now it was up to the offensive line to start blowing them out and they weren't doing that early in the game, Gil. They were just sitting back a little bit unsure of some of the things they were doing and in fact I think it was a pattern of the whole team there seemed to be a little bit of a hesitation from the offense they seemed to be a little tight a little unsure but as that drive started to progress especially once uh, they got to the 30 yard line then you could see that offensive line firing out firing out and that's what you have to do when you start running that ball 14 plays for the 59 yard march for the tying touchdown David Posey to kick it off he'll be kicking into a breeze 17 miles an hour into his face Back deep for Buffalo to the far side. Dennis Johnson, he's a rookie running back. 6'3", 220 from Mississippi State. To the near side, Keith Moody, third-year defensive back from Syracuse. Good kick return man. All right, important that they get good coverage on this kickoff, not allowing Buffalo good field position. A lot of times after you score like that, there's just a little bit of lapse. Fortunately, uh, we won't see that from the Patriots kicking team. All right, Posey to kick it off. And it's end over end, short and fat. Under it at the 20 as Johnson drops the ball and he is covered at about the 27-yard line. He uh, dropped it and picked it up and was covered immediately by Don Calhoun. How many times you see that on those high, short kicks and the receiver has to run up to the ball and then the ball is just coming straight down. A lot of times they just run right through it. Let's pause 15 seconds. This is the BZ Patriots Football Network. WHIM Morning Team. Joe Lavera with your music. Jim Mead with complete news. Plus Paul Harvey, Howard Cosell, your chance to win in trivia and Norm McDonald weather. If you think you have to go anywhere else in the morning, you're wrong. 1110 WHIM Providence. First and 10 bills at their own 26. Brown and Miller, the running backs. Behind Joe Ferguson, 7-7 game. It's Brown turning it wide to the left, cutting up field and swarmed under. Ernie Holmes over there for the Patriots in on the stop along with outside linebacker Rod Schoet and out of the secondary Tim Fox. Fats Holmes in on the tackle for the Patriots. Ball spotted up to the 29-yard line, a gain of three, second and seven. Patriots have Holmes playing at nose tackle right now. And they've also got uh, Mike Hawkins in there at an outside linebacker position. He was in on the tackle and not Schoet. Make it second down. And seven for the Bills at their own 29. Chandler is to the left. Frank Lewis to the right. Hooks in the backfield with Brown. Ferguson. Play action fake. Rolling to his right. Fires to the near side. And it is incomplete. Intended up at the 38-yard line for Frank Lewis and defended very well by Raymond Claiborne. Yeah, but Steve King is the one who made it. He cut right in the path as he does. He covers the short quick outs. That time Lewis from the right side running downfield about 10 yards breaking out towards the sidelines. Raymond Claiborne playing the sideline but uh, not able to really knock the ball down. But Steve King, once he reads that pass and he drifts into the path of that sideline pattern, that's the thing that really makes that play work defensively. Schott not feeling well is the report and he is out. Now the Patriots go to a four-man front. Third down and seven. Buffalo at their own 29. Backs in a wide split. Chandler wide to the right. He's a guy to look for here. Back to throw Ferguson. Here's the blitz. Gets the ball away, and it is complete to Curtis Brown up at the 35. Hit and stop at the 37. But I believe he has the first down. Brought down by Claiborne. Caustic also over there for the Patriots. Looks like a first down. From here it does. 
As All we right. look right down Curtis the line, yep. First down, Buffalo, just beyond the 36 to the 37. All right, Curtis Brown coming out of the backfield from the right halfback position, just runs upfield, turns out, maybe five yards down. They get the ball to him quick, and then he has to work his way for the first down. It looked like the pursuit and the containment of the uh, Patriots defensively was enough to stop him from getting the first down, but he worked his way in between some defenders and just managed to get it. That was the first completion of the game for Joe Ferguson. First and 10, Buffalo, their own 37. Hooks the tailback in an eye formation behind Curtis Brown, the fullback. Back to throw Ferguson. Quick out, near side. Complete to Chandler. Up at the 45. Driving upfield to the 47-48 before he's first finally down. ridden out of bounds. Another first down. Costick and Claiborne finally brought him down, but it was just a quick out to Chandler, who caught it about the 43 and then turned it upfield. So Buffalo now using a little short passing game to get their offense generated. Ball is marked at the Patriot 49-yard line. First and 10 Buffalo Bills at the Patriot 49. And once again, what a combination. Joe Ferguson and Bob Chandler, they've just been a real passing duo throughout their careers with Buffalo. And as I pointed out earlier, Gil, their biggest games have been against the Patriots throughout their careers. Chandler, 42 receptions coming into this game. First and 10 Buffalo, Patriot uh, at their own 49. Ferguson on a give on the draw to Miller, turning wide right. He has hit, spins away at midfield, driving upfield to the Patriot 45. Oh, he broke two tackles behind the line of scrimmage, and that's what enabled him to get upfield. So the Patriots defensively were in position, and the one that stands out was Steve King coming up. He had him behind the line of scrimmage, but Miller broke that tackle and proceeded upfield. So the Bills are at the Patriot 45 on second and three in a good seven-yard gain. 4.20 to go, first half, tied at 7-7. Seven to seven. It's no candy bar. Bills break it out. Hooks in the backfield now with Brown. Chandler goes wide right. Lewis wide left. Gant the tight end right. Ferguson on second down and three. Could go deep on this. Ferguson, long count. He hands it off to Curtis Brown. Sweeping wide to the left being chased down. Hit and swarmed under at the 45-yard line. Bishop over there for the Patriots. Coming out of the secondary to make a hard hit was Michael Haynes. Also over there, Caustic. But Haynes really put the wood to him. Once again, the outside linebacker on that side. This time, Mike Hawkins was behind the line of scrimmage and had a shot at him, and he missed the tackle, similar to the one Steve King. Another thing we can point out is that the game is relatively free of flags and penalties. Yes. Wide left for Buffalo is Lewis. Wide right is Chandler. Third and three at the Patriot 45. The backs, Hooks, and Brown in a wide split. Ferguson straight back to throw. Sets it up over the middle. Incomplete intended for Ruben Gant at the 40-yard line covered Ucho. by Fox. Ucho closed that time. Ruben Gant on a delay over the middle. Timmy Fox came up and had him around the waist. Just spun him before that ball got there. Gant going over to the official now. And that was close to being called, Gil. It appeared like he was beyond the five-yard marker. But anyway, once again, no flag as we pointed out. Haven't seen that many today. So Rusty Jackson is in to punt for the Buffalo Bills. Saw the Lions use a fake punt yesterday and a snap to a linebacker, Dakin. And I got to believe that that's what ignited that route. Yep. There are plays sometimes that make routes, and there are plays that make games close. Jackson stands at the 40, handles a good snap. He'll run it out to Stanley Morgan. The punt coming down to Morgan at the 8. Up the right sideline to the 10, 15. Puts his head down looking for the 20, but he isn't going to make it. He is stacked up at about the 18 or 19-yard line where the Patriots will take over with 3.21 to go in the half. Back inside their own 20. The offense comes onto the field. 3.21 left, first half. Very picturesque view from our vantage point here at Schaefer Stadium today as we look out, snow covering the rooftops all around the countryside. It's pretty. And the gray cumulus clouds that surround Schaefer Stadium. You sure they're Spinning cumulus? The snow. I don't know. We'll check with Don Kent, but I think they are. First and ten Patriots at their own 18-yard line. First, the Patriots' next action is a week from Monday night. We'll be far removed from the snow and cold down in Miami, Florida. Don't bet on it. You saw what happened in L.A. Yeah, right. If it happens in Miami, I think we ought to take pictures. First the, snow uh, in 30 years. Los Angeles, and I uh, saw where a lot of the swimming pools were frozen. Gee, that's too bad. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm bleeding for them. Well, of course, the Patriots and Bills are tied at 7-7 seven to seven here. The Patriots have to win the game in the uh, real sense of the word. If they win, they are the Eastern Division champions. If not, 
Then they're faced with having to beat the Dolphins next Monday night in Miami, and that is no small task. I have to agree with you, Gil. I don't think the Patriots would like that particular situation. Uh, they'd like to win this ball game. They know the importance of it, and especially to win it right here at home. You know, what more can you ask for the fans who have supported this team for some 19 years now? And uh, to lose this ball game and have to win down in Miami, should that be the case, would be a difficult task. Miami playing the Oakland Raiders and Miami today, I believe that's a four o'clock game. Yep. Oakland looking to stay alive, and of course Miami as well. So that's a big game, and I'm sure that they're tuned into this ball game. Patriots first and ten, the own 18. They'll work with the double tight end offense. Cunningham at fullback, and Johnson is out with Ivory in at halfback. Johnson pulled a hamstring earlier in the game. They give us to Cunningham, trying to bust it to the left. He's at the 20, upfield to the 23, and smacked down at the 24. Sam Cunningham, a gain of six yards. Out of the defensive secondary was Tony Green to get help from defensive lineman D. Hardison making the tackle on Sam Cunningham at the 24-yard line. A hard six-yard gain for Cunningham. One of the few times that you see Sam run a sweep. Jackson checks in. Hasselbeck comes out. Patriots on second down and four. Their own 24, 2.53 to go. First half, 7-7. Seven to seven. 30, uh, 28-yard run by uh, Hooks and a four-yard run by Cunningham, or three-yard run. Patriots put out a slot left. Morgan in the slot, Jackson wide. Backs are split. They give us to Ivory to the right, and he drives it up across the line of scrimmage to about the 29-yard line and close to a first down. Horace Ivory on a counter, close to the 29. Tom Graham in on the stop. It is a first down for the Patriots. Out across the 29. Gil, I have to believe that the Patriots are just working their way for a little better field position. Time is uh, of great importance here. It's running down. It'll go to the two-minute mark, and the Patriots are going to let it go down to two minutes. The game tied at seven, and the one thing you don't want in a type of ball game that this is is to have a close game going into the last quarter. So the first half will come, or the... Uh, Going to come up to the two-minute warning. Steve Brogan comes over to the sidelines to chat with Chuck Fairbanks. As we hit the two-minute warning, let's take a timeout with the score. The Patriots, seven, and the Buffalo Bills, seven. Okay, here's the situation. It is first and ten for the Patriots at their own 29-yard line. Two minutes to go in the first half. Tied 7-7. Seven to seven. Patriots and the Buffalo Bills. Bills scoring uh, early in the second quarter on third and ten. A Roland Hook's 28-yard run. Patriots scoring later on in the quarter. It's 6-10 to tie it at 7-7. Seven, seven. All right, slot left formation. Brogan back to pass on first down. Sets it up. Looks. Going to be hit. Flag down. He is sacked and at about the 22. Brogan had nowhere to go that time. He was setting up, definitely looking to go deep. And it appeared like he was looking for Francis. Francis having difficulty getting off from that line of scrimmage. When you have to wait for the big guy to get way downfield, he was definitely going deep. And then the uh, rush just caved in on top of him. I think we're going to get a holding call as well. And uh, Grogan then, in an effort to just get free, fumbled the ball, recovered it, so a big break for the Patriots. Otherwise, Buffalo would have been in great position. So the Patriots looking to go deep. It was a question whether they were going to work their, more, their way down for field goal position or try to go deep. And with time running out in the first half, they've just been having difficulty with their overall offense, Gil. The timing does not look crisp 
They seem to be just a little unsure of some of the things they're doing. A holding call against the Patriots declined because of the fumble and the loss of yardage, so it's second and 16 at their own 23. Westbrook is wide to the right, Jackson to the left. Grogan on a draw to Cunningham to the right to the 20, 25, and ripped down at the 25-yard line hard and by it. defensive lineman Mike Kadish. I'm interested to see whether Buffalo will call timeouts here, Gil. Down to a minute and 41 to go, and the clock running in the half at 7 to 7. The ball at the 25-yard line, third and 13 for the Patriots. Buffalo has three timeouts left, and they're letting it run down. Now Jackson comes in, and Westbrook comes out. They're down in 13 for the Patriots, 7-7 seven to seven in the first half. It has been a struggle. This was a struggle in Buffalo, too. Patriots winning that one 14-10. Out they come. Morgan left, Jackson right. Francis tight to the right side. Three back to split wide. Rogan back to throw. Here's the rush. It's a screen. It's complete to Cunningham, and he has run down at the 20-yard line in a superb defensive play by Buffalo Bill linebacker Tom Graham, the veteran. So the Patriots are forced to punt. That was a great play by Graham. Absolutely a fantastic play. They had a double up on both flankers, so you had five men back in the secondary, and still for Graham, the linebacker, to read that screen. A lot of times those linebackers will be dropping back into that under area, but he was right up there, saw the screen develop. I thought Grogan threw it a little quick, so it showed screen right away, enabling the linebacker to read it and be there to prevent it from any gain. It was a good call, just that the execution wasn't that good. So the Patriots are forced to punt for the first time. Forced to punt for the first time this afternoon. Back deep for the Buffalo Bills, Keith Moody at his own 39-yard line. I was surprised that Buffalo didn't use their timeouts. It seemed to me that they were content to uh, go in with a 7-7 uh, halftime score if they could get it, so uh, that says a little bit of their philosophy, which uh, really should help the Patriots. Well, they just called a timeout here, so they, they have two left. All right, Gerald Wilson stands back at his five to punt for the Patriots. He'll get the kick away from the ten. And Wilson needs a big punt here to get the Patriots out of danger. Moody deep for the Bills. Wilson handles it, and it is nearly blocked, but he gets it oh, away off the side it. of his foot. He shanked it. It goes out of bounds at the 32. The 32 of the Patriots. Yep. And Hasselbeck was injured on that. And he is rolling around in pain at the 15-yard line. Mark Hannick out to check him along with Tom Helian. An 11-yard punt from the line of scrimmage. What made it surprising, Gil, was that the one bit of pressure they got on that punt came from the left side defensively of Buffalo, the right side offensively for the Patriots. Gerald Wilson steps to the right more than a lot of punters who just step up straight up to kick. He steps off to the right, so the pressure coming from the right would probably make him kick more downfield, but to have a shank come off with the pressure coming from that same direction is totally a surprise. So Buffalo has a chance to lead at halftime here. They've got great field position with only 50 seconds to go in the half. They're working on Hasselbeck down on the sideline, well up on the field of play, actually. I don't know what Hasselbeck injured, but he was rolling around in pain. Francis over there with Fox and Haynes. And Don, is uh, he's a very tough guy. Yes, if he is. And he's big and tough. Yeah, he's got to be really hurting in order to be... He's had some shoulder problems, Gil. Uh, he's been having it checked for the last six weeks. I talked to him the other night, and it's a nerve that they say has really been giving him trouble. It makes his left arm go numb on him, and it looks like that's yeah. exactly what he hurt right now. His left arm is hanging down. He's crinching his neck against his shoulder pad a little bit, and I have to believe that that nerve in his neck and his shoulder that has been bothering him, it really was damaged once again. He must have taken a big blow on that shoulder. Well, the Patriots' defense now being called upon here in the closing seconds of the first half to keep the Bills off the scoreboard. First and 10, Buffalo at the Patriot 32 because of a bad punt. Bills come out, Lewis left, Chandler right, Gant tight to the right. Ferguson has Brown and Miller in the backfield. Ferguson play action, fake back to throw. Here's the rush, he screens Screen. to the left side to Brown. Up. Brown at the 30, 25, 20, hit, finally brought down at the 11-yard line, but a first down. For the Buffalo Bills at the Patriot 11. All right, Sam Hunt that time came over, made the wrong play, Gil. He tried to horse collar him around the neck. 
And Brown just ducked under that, and that's what enabled him to get downfield another 15 yards. Had Hunt come over laterally like he was, he was in position. He could have made a hip tackle or a side tackle and knocked him down. He took a swipe at him with his right arm. Brown ducked under it, and that's what enabled him to get downfield. So the Bills have a first down. I'd like to remind you that we're going to be announcing today the winner of the Zaire WBZ Unsung Patriot Award for the 1978 season. And a $5,000 donation will be made in his name to the Kennedy Center for Handicapped Children. We'll also be naming at halftime the winner of the Super Bowl trip for two all expenses paid to Miami, courtesy of Zaire and WBZ Radio. Right now, the big concern is the fact that the Bills can be leading at halftime. They are first down at the Patriot 11-yard line. From here, a field goal for Dempsey would be only a 28-yard shot. And he's certainly strong enough to pull that one off. Oh, the Patriots are being called upon now. They're either going to drop him for a loss or come up with a ball. First Buffalo shooting for a score. 39 seconds to go in the half. Lewis left, Chandler right. Ferguson calling signals for the Buffalo Bills. Long count by Joe Ferguson. Pitches it out to Miller to uh, Hooks. Hooks is looking to throw it back. He can't. Now he's running at the 20. Hit and spun down at the 10. Okay. The Buffalo Bills trying to uncork something similar to the flea flicker. 26 seconds left to go. The Bills in the hurry up offense. And I don't know why they still have a timeout. But he was looking to throw it back to Ferguson, Gill, as he ran to the right side. When he didn't have it, good defense by the Patriots. Second down. Eight yards to go, Buffalo at the Patriot nine. Ferguson back to throw. He fires to the right way over the head of the intended receiver, Chandler, stopping the clock with eight seconds to go in the half. And the Bills, well, they still have time for time. one more. Right, this is what he was trying to do. I thought perhaps they might use that timeout and let themselves just get uh, some sort of play call going into the end zone if they wanted to throw, and if it was incomplete, then they could mount uh, the field goal attempt. But this time, with the hurry-up offense, they lost a lot of time. It's down to eight seconds. And uh, now they do have time for one pass play. They will definitely try to go towards the sidelines or into the end zone to throw it, if they should, and then they'll have time, of course, with the timeout left to line up for a field goal. So it is. Third down and eight yards to go. Buffalo at the Patriot nine. Lewis left, Chandler right. Tight end Gant to the right side. Backs are split. Brown and Miller. Ferguson calling signals. Straight back to throw. Sets it up. Fires toward the end zone. Way over the head of the receiver. He catches it out of bounds. Oof. On the back line of the end zone, and he goes into a snow pile. Oof, was that, that was close. Lewis. Very close indeed. It was the go pattern. He ran it over Michael Haynes. As you see, the quarterbacks do... And teams will do that. The little lob pass out towards the sidelines. A straight-ahead pattern run by Lewis. He threw it over Michael Haynes, but he was too far into the end zone. He went out the end line. The ball was overthrown, no question, by Ferguson. Uh, well, it's hard to see the line there because of some of the snow that's down there, but it was so close. And he ran up into the snowbank. So the ball is marked at the 9. Right now, field goal attempt will come from the 16-yard line for Tom Dempsey, a 26-yard field goal attempt, Chandler to hold. Four seconds to go in the half, and the Bills could take the lead right here. Ready for a field goal attempt by Dempsey. Snap ball down, the kick is up, and it is right down the chute. A 16-yard field goal, 26-yard field goal, I'm sorry, for Tom Dempsey. And that's the end of the first half, and the Buffalo Bills lead at halftime by a score of 10 to 7. And when you look back on the two field goals, the Patriots Paul. could have had, but uh, decided not to take and go for first downs instead, they could have themselves in the position of a 13 to 10 lead at least. Uh, but no question that the Patriots have not played well here in the first half of this very important ball game for them. The score at the end of the first half at Schaefer Stadium in Foxborough, the Buffalo Bills 10 and the Patriots 7. Do you know your thoughts on the Patriots for the second half? I think they've played much too tentatively in the first half. They've, they've got to open things up a little bit and start taking some shots. I, I have to agree with you. I think uh, we pointed it out at that first drive, but they were moving downfield. But when they elected to just stay continuously on the ground, that indicated one thing right there, that they were going to play it a little close. But we'll get into that as the second half goes on. Gil, David Posey has the ball teed up at the 35. He seems to be going downwind, and we're ready to go for second half action, big second half action. All right, Posey to kick it off to Moody for the Buffalo Bills. Keith Moody under it at the seven. 
He heads to the right at the 10, 15. He's a good kick return man at the 20, 25, and spun down at the 29-yard line. Merv Croker, the new Patriots linebacker who formerly started with the Buffalo Bills and is a good special teams player, down making the tackle on Moody. So it's Buffalo first and 10 at their own 29. The Patriots are trailing by a score of 10 to 7 here as we start the third quarter of play. <clears throat> Shout back in at right side linebacker. Patriot defensive front. Lunsford, Hamilton, and Bishop. King and Schultz, the outside linebackers, Hunt and Caustic in the middle. Claiborne, Haynes, Fox, and Bedoin, the safeties. First and 10, Buffalo. Their own 29-yard line. They lead 10-7. Ferguson, quick pitch, left side. This is Brown turning, turning. He avoids a tackle at the 30. Hit at the 35 and run out at the 36. Nice cut to the outside by Curtis Brown as he eluded the tackle of linebacker Rod Schultz. Right, what he did on that maneuver, Gil, when he cut back to the inside, he put Schultz and uh, Caustic in position to think he was going inside, and they stayed inside. Then he broke it back to the outside, so just an excellent maneuver. So it's a gain to the 36-yard line. Good first down yardage for Buffalo, second and seven. They're going right to left. Ball in the near hash mark. Chandler way wide to the right side, the wide side of the field. Lewis wide to the left. Ferguson will probably go up top. No, he doesn't. He hands it off to uh, Brown again, driving first down to the 40-yard line. Off the left side. Cut down finally by Hunt and Schott for the Patriots. On the bottom of the stack is Ray Caustic and a Buffalo player shaken up. Now Hooks checks in. Or Hooks checks out and Miller comes in. Now Dennis Johnson comes in as the injured Buffalo player is their fine fullback, Curtis Brown. He has rushed on the season coming into this game for 538 yards, carried the ball about 100 times less than Terry Miller, but he's a good runner, Gino. He's done a great job for this team, and they seem to be working well together, blocking for one another, and they both find uh, pass receivers. Well, let's take a timeout with a score. Buffalo 10, the Patriots 7. Let's take a timeout. Boat owners are usually very demanding, insisting on sparing no expense to equip your boat with the very latest equipment and options, and that's the way it should be. Why then should you be any less demanding when it comes to the insurance you select for your boat? It's every bit as important to be very careful about selecting who insures your vessel. Someone who specializes in marine insurance, someone who speaks your language and understands the differences in depreciation, for example, or whether your spinnaker is covered when racing, or scores of other details that could cause you problems at claim time. Someone like Ben Basin Yacht Insurance and in the new Melville Yacht Basin in Portsmouth, Rhode Island. Rhode Island in southeastern Massachusetts, newest and finest location. Ben Basin Yacht Insurance, professional, knowledgeable marine insurance agents, will make sure you have the right carrier and insurance plan for your vessel. Stop in and talk with Richard Wilson at Ben Basin Yacht Insurance. Let him design a perfect insurance plan for your pride and joy. It just might be the best piece of equipment you can buy for your vessel. In Rhode Island, call 683-4512. Curtis Brown sustaining a leg injury. It's uh, his left leg. He's having trouble putting any weight on it. And he is leaving the ball game. Dennis Johnson, a rookie from Mississippi State, a big guy, six foot three, 220 pounds, replaces Curtis Brown. But Brown is a difficult man to replace. He's a good blocker, an excellent runner, good hands. And this is the thing that Johnson does not have. Johnson has poor hands, and his biggest problem has been the fact that he's uh, suffered from fumbleitis this season. And what else you take away from them is that little rhythm that the two backs start to develop as the game mounts. You know, that timing's so important with those two backs and where they're going and how they are going, and they develop that as the game goes on. So when you have to replace one of the backs who maybe has not been in, you kind of have to wait for that to happen, if it's going to. Okay, the call is this. Uh, first and 10 Buffalo, their own 41-yard line. Johnson the fullback now, and offset left half for Buffalo is Terry Miller. Now Miller shifts into a tailback position in an eye formation. He gets the call, sweeping wide to the right. The Bills string it out well. Hunt is there to make the tackle. Flag down. Great play by Sam Hunt, driving over from the right inside linebacker position to chase down Terry Miller after a gain of nothing. Well, Hunt showed quickness and you speed see there. He did. Huh? Laterally, he's moving over there. This is what the defense has to do. They have to really just take the game away and hopefully give it over to the offense of the Patriots and that they can pick it up. You know, somebody once said at one time, I'm not going to take credit for this line, but the team seems to be a little constipated, if you know what I mean, and somebody has to act as a laxative. I'm glad you didn't <laughs> take credit for that line, because I wouldn't. 
that <laughs> offensive holding kind of says it. Offensive holding against Buffalo, and so the ball is marked back to the 31-yard line, and it'll be first and 20 for the Buffalo Bills. 14.08 to go third quarter. They've got uh, Chandler wide to the right, Lewis wide to the left. Tight end right is Gant. Ferguson calling signals first and 20, passing down. He's back to throw. Here's a rush. He just gets the ball away. It is incomplete, nearly a diving interception by Doug Bedoin as again he cut in front of the intended receiver near midfield. Right. Once again, Doug Bedoin leaving his man out on the left flat, which sometimes you do. You gamble because you're reading that quarterback. Ferguson that time under a tremendous pressure, especially from the outside. Both outside men were getting to him. He stepped up in the pocket, almost had his arm ripped down, but he got it downfield, and as soon as Doug Bedoin saw him going to that particular receiver, Chandler, over there, he cut in over there. So that's what you call giving support and helping your man. Second down and 20 Buffalo at their own 30. Far hash mark going right to left. Frank Lewis to the left side, Chandler to the right. The backs are in a wide split. Ferguson calling signals for Buffalo. Straight back to throw. Sets it up, sets it up, fires on the slant to Lewis. He falls down in his touchdown at about the 38-yard line. It's a gain on the play of seven yards. It'll be third down and about 12 for the Buffalo Bills. Lewis was going to be tackled anyway, but he slipped and fell and was just touched down there at the 38-yard line. So it is third and 12 for Buffalo at their own 38. Now Hunt comes out. And Khan comes in as the fifth defensive back. The one thing that makes those underpasses work like that, Gil, is if you give the quarterback a lot of time and let those outside receivers and the tight end clear downfield, take everybody downfield, and then you spring that lone guy all alone over the middle. But you've got to have time in order to set it up, and he had it that time. Hooks is in the left slot. Wide to the left is Lewis. Wide to the right is Chandler. Patriots now a four-man defensive line. Ferguson straight back to throw. Sets it up, has time, just gets the ball away, downfield, incomplete, intended for Chandler at the 25. Ooh, once again, he went to the wrong guy. Reuben Gant from the right tight end position went cross corner. The patterns were run deep. There were five defenders of the Patriots deep. Nobody had the under. Gant was wide open. So once again, Joe Ferguson not going to the receiver that was open. A penalty has been called against the Buffalo Bills. A penalty has been called against the Buffalo Bills. Apparently, it'll be an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty called because a flag was not thrown on the uh, pass attempt. And uh, the Bills were looking for a pass interference call, but there was none as so far as I could see. But a flag was thrown after the play, so a penalty apparently has been called against the Bills. Personal foul against Buffalo. And let's see what else he does. No, it's uh, Chandler was the guy that the flag was thrown on. He took a swing at somebody. All right. Chandler took a swing at somebody after the play. Now, discussing the options right now. We have 13.07 to go in the third quarter. Crowd at Schaefer should be uh, even colder than normal because they've had to sit on their hands for much of this game. have not had a lot to cheer about. <laughs> for a number of reasons. Yeah. Patriots are trailing 10 to 7. And now the penalty will be marked off against the Buffalo Bills. We'll move the ball back from the 38-yard line, so Buffalo will be kicking from its own territory. The Patriots should have decent field position. They mark it off for 15 yards, and the crowd reacts to that. Well, two big penalties against Buffalo has helped them here. Uh, they had a holding penalty when they were at close to uh, close foul. to midfield. Unnecessary roughness. Number 81 offense. After well, there it the is. Play, the down counts. It's fourth down. Well, there it is on Chandler after the play. The down is lost as well. So a break for the Patriots. Could get great field position here. All right. Morgan back at his 45. The punt by Jackson coming down to Stanley Morgan at the 45. Heading for midfield. He's going to be cut down short of midfield at about the 49-yard line. Outstanding coverage because it was a low-line drive kick, and usually you can run those back, but he did not really pick up any yardage at all, maybe two. All right, under our contractual arrangement with the Patriots for this broadcast, the announcers for this game have been selected by station WBZ, subject to the approval of the Patriots football team. However, radio station WBZ retains the final right of selection of the announcers. The ball is marked down at midfield where the Patriot offense comes out. First and 10 at the 50-yard line. They're trailing 10 to 7. And if there's going to be a time, Gino, when the offensive unit of this football team 
is going to come to life in this game and take complete command, I am going to take uh, the shot and say that this is it right here and now. You couldn't be more right. It has to be right here. With this kind of field position, you can just dip into your arsenal and do anything you want. And there's no question that the Patriots have been playing this game tight to the vest. They're going to have to open it up, play the type of football that has got them to where they are, and start right here and right now. This Buffalo defense has been containing them. They have been playing the run. They know that the Patriots have been a little conservative, and they've been playing it with reckless abandon. So here's where you just got to start opening it up with all guns right now. Speaking about uh, the previous games and earlier years with the Patriots and the Buffalo Bills, one of my old teammates who had a fantastic year coaching this year, Gil, for his first uh, stint at coaching, Jimmy Colclaw, will be uh, Kenny Meyer's guest on Calling All Sports tonight. And Jimmy, did a great uh, Jimmy job. Uh, was a tremendous receiver for us in those early years, and he can recount those games probably better than anyone. He was a real student of the game, and my congratulations to Jimmy, who was being considered as coach of the year in New England. Well, he did a great job. He really did. Coach Boston State uh, to a uh, winning record this year and just had an outstanding year. Patriots first and ten at midfield. Cunningham is the fullback. Patriots first down call. Play go. action fake Grogan. Here they go to open it up. Fires over the middle and it is off the hands of Francis at the 40-yard line. Trying to open it up a little bit. Yeah, but they still seem to be wanting to stay short with it. Looking for Francis over the middle. He was well covered. Threw it up a little high. The stuff that has worked for them with those deep square ins to uh, Harold Jackson and Stanley Morgan, those are the things that will open it up for you, Gil, and I'm surprised that they haven't gone to it yet. Dallas leading uh, Philadelphia 21-7 to into the second half. Washington and Atlanta tied at 10 at the half. Uh, Jackson comes out and Westbrook comes in. It is second and 10 for the Patriots at midfield. Cunningham and Ivory, the running backs. Johnson, a pulled hamstring, has not played since the first quarter. Westbrook is to the left. Now he comes in motion to the right. Grogan calling signals on second and ten. Grogan goes straight back to throw. Sets it up. Now he steps up into the pocket. Flags are down. He runs away at the 50, at the 45, at the 40, at the 35 of Buffalo. At the 30, driving inside the 25 to the 23 and a great run. But it's going to be called back for holding. Two flags thrown way deep into the backfield. And it would indicate that there was holding. We'll wait and see for the official. Yes, it is. Holding. And Shelby Jordan over there to argue vociferously. And I have to believe that the call will be going against him. He's just trying to defend himself, but the official, no. He calls holding as two flags. Two officials saw the same penalty. Well, it negates a great run by Grogan of 27 yards to the Bills' 23-yard line. As this ball game wears along, you can bet it's going to be tight at the end. And that's the one thing the Patriots did not want in a game like this, Gil, once again, uh, the better team, the Patriots, the better record, 10-4. and four. Buffalo with a 4-10 and 10 record. They've had difficulty playing and winning on the road. This is the type of game, the type of team that you just have to hit early and fast and hard. Get to them, get on top, because you don't want to go into the last quarter when anything can happen. A tight ball game with a team like the Buffalo Bills, or any team for that matter. So the ball is back to the 40-yard line, and it's second down and 20 for the Patriots. At their own 40, Francis is on the left wing. Now he goes in motion to the right side as Grogan calls signals and goes straight back to throw. Sets it up, it's over the middle, complete to Cunningham at the 45. He's at the 50 and stacked up at the 50-yard line, but they got the yardage back that they lost on the penalty. Lucius Sanford, the rookie linebacker, Georgia Tech, over there to make the tackle for Buffalo. Sanford, 6'2", 216, make it third down and 10 for the Patriots at midfield. Sun has gone back in and the snow has come back out. Once again, they went to the short dunk pass. The two passes they've thrown here have been to Russ Francis over the middle, five yards downfield, and Sam Cunningham circling out of the backfield, and they're being well covered. The linebackers of Buffalo are not giving that much ground. Ball right at midfield, right in the middle of the red, white, and blue stripe at the 50-yard line. Patriots break the huddle. They send Westbrook wide to the right. Morgan to the left, third and 10. Brogan back to throw, sets it up. Fires, nobody incomplete, intended for Westbrook at the 34-yard line. Fourth down, the Patriots forced to punt. Now they had great field position, but they went for the downs. They went deep and threw the ball on every down. Now well, the Patriots continue to trail 10-7. to seven. There's a case now at midfield that perhaps yes. a run and see what you get from that run. If you get six, seven yards or five yards, good first down yardage, then you can really go with anything in your offense. But when they came out throwing, you know, you're gambling because if that first down pass play is not complete, 
then that really puts you in a bind. First uh, punt that Wilson had today was 11 yards, looking for something better this time. Moody is deep for Buffalo. He hits it high in the air. It's going to go out of bounds, down. Let's see where they mark it. At the 20-yard line, the Buffalo takes over first and 10 at their own 20, but a flag is down along the line of scrimmage. Illegal motion, Patriots. Oh, I'm sure. Oh. Illegal motion against the Patriots. I'm sure the Bills will ask them to kick it over again. Snow now swirling down. 11.38 to go, third quarter. Buffalo leading 10 to 7. And the Bills decline the penalty. They'll take over at their own 20-yard line with 11.38 to play in the third quarter. Decline. So it's first and 10 for the Buffalo Bills at their own 20, and the snow is just swirling around here at Schaefer. Crowd of uh, close to 60,000 packed into Schaefer, all huddling as close together as they can. <laughs> Try and keep warm out there. Temperature was 28 degrees at game time. It has dropped since then. The wind has picked up. And I must congratulate the hardy folks who are here today. Congratulations to all of you fans. You're a tough bunch. Patriots are trailing right now 10-7 in the ball game. And Gino, a situation that uh, they just can't afford to let go on too much longer. Well, time is getting so important in this type of ball game, Gil, that we just have to keep emphasizing the importance of the game for the Patriots. Uh, they don't want to go down to Miami and be forced to win that game down at Miami, although it would be that much more enjoyable. But uh, why be forced to do something like that when you can play a team, the lowly Buffalo Bills, and... Uh, got to feel like you're the better team and you got to play like the better team and they have not done that today 11:30 to go in the third period and uh, the Patriots are struggling in today's ball game they're playing a game of inches today they're working for everything that they're getting they're not really opening it up and we'll just have to wait and see now if this defense can contain the Buffalo offense something they haven't done all right the running backs for Buffalo are Dennis Johnson and Terry Miller in an eye formation the crowd whooping it up for the defense slot left formation bills Chandler in the slot, Lewis wide left. Now Chandler goes in motion to the right. Ferguson calling signals, first down. Quick pitch, Terry Miller sweeping wide right. Turns the corner, runs upfield to the 25-yard line before he comes down under a bunch of red shirts. Steve King there for the Patriots with Claiborne. And uh, also over there with Sam Hunt. But it's a strong six-yard gain for Terry Miller. Second down and four for Buffalo. Yeah, it's excellent first down yardage for the Buffalo Bills. They're back at their own 20. They run it out to the 26. They can continue to pound that line now. Defense may have to be the ones to come up with a ball. Get things sparked up. Well, they did it on the previous series. Gave the Patriot offense the ball at the 50. Second down for Buffalo. Their own 26. Ferguson on a give to Roland Hook. Sweeping right. Cutting up field at the 30. At the 35. Loses fumble on the, the play. At the 35-yard line. He lost the ball. And they are pointing Buffalo on it. It is Buffalo, first down. They recover their own fumble and get a first down at the 35-36 yard line. Oh, it's first and 10. Buffalo Bills, their own 36. Clock running, 10 and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Buffalo's Reuben Gant injured on the play. And he is being attended to. Let's take a timeout with a score of the Bills 10, the Patriots 7. Just as there's lots of excitement in New England Patriots football, there's excitement in a Regency scandal. You see, more people are listening to the real drama of police, fire, emergency calls, and more on a Regency Action Radio. You'll hear the news while it's happening and from where it's happening. These busy little monitor radio scanners constantly search for an active signal automatically. Stop to hear a message being transmitted, then search for a reply or another message. No fiddling with dials, and you don't need any technical knowledge to operate Regency Action Radio Scanners. If you want to get the inside story, get a Regency Scanner. Then you'll really know what goes on in your town. There's a wide choice of models from $84.95 and up to the new No Crystal Units, plus a special factory rebate. Regency. When it comes to scanners, they lead the league. See your nearby Regency dealer, Ann and Hope, all stores, Massachusetts and Rhode Island, Save Red, One Socket, East Providence and Warwick, and Tony Goodridge, Television City, Cranston. Well, the snow is coming down harder now at Schaefer Stadium. The paid attendance, 59,920. Hardy souls here at Schaefer. Buffalo first and 10, their own 36. Johnson and Miller are the setbacks. Now Miller shifts out of the right half into a tailback in an eye formation. 
Ferguson calling signals. This club leads 10-7. Ferguson quick out, far side. It is complete to Frank Lewis, and he is brought down up at about the 45-yard line. A gain of nine yards on the play. Second and one, Buffalo. Well, you can see the Buffalo Bills. They're just playing it loose, Gil, throwing in conditions like this. And it does not seem to uh, affect them at all. Joe Ferguson on the quick out. A nice seven, eight yards, six, somewhere in that vicinity. Looks like an eight-yard gain on first down. Once again, big first down yardage. They got it running, and now they're getting it passing. Second down and two, Buffalo at their own 44. They send Chandler to the right and Lewis to the left. Ferguson yelling instructions to both sides of the line of scrimmage. The give comes to Roland Hooks cutting up the middle. He runs into traffic as a first down to about the 48 is thrown back, but he's got a first down at his own 48-yard line. So the Buffalo Bills continue to march. Well, Gil, it appears like the Patriot defense is almost waiting for the Buffalo offense to make a mistake, cough up the ball, throw an interception or fumble or something like that and uh, the Buffalo Bills are just not accommodating them in this game. Ball marked at the 47 yard line. The field now covered with a film of snow as snow squalls are swooping down on Schaefer Stadium. Buffalo breaks out of the huddle. It is a first and ten at their own 47. Well, the wind really wind, blowing. Yeah, wind blowing hard, blowing the snow all around. Ferguson barking signals. The give comes to Dennis Johnson to the right side, and he smacks across midfield to the Patriot 47. And a strong five-yard gain. Bishop making the tackle for the Patriots with King. It'll be second and five for the Bills. At the Pats 47-yard line. Gil, that offensive line of the Buffalo Bills doing an outstanding job. Oh, well, they're good anyway. You know. Yes, they are. But once again, the Patriot defense heralded leading the league against the rush but the Patriots are just not able to contain the running of Buffalo and that's been the key second down and five bills at the Patriot 47 yard line Ferguson on the handoff to hooks to the right breaks it to the outside and oh he is wrapped up by King great play by King and left cornerback Ray Claiborne as Claiborne came up hard and King swooped over to knock him down it is a gain of one yard to the 46 yard line third down and a long three for the Buffalo Bills. Now they spotted at the 45, so it's a long two, rather. Third and two for Buffalo at the Patriot 45. And just to give you an idea that this snow is sticking to the synthetic surface, we can barely see the numbers yep. on the lines. It's white. Third down, a long two, Buffalo at the Patriot 45. Chandler to the left side. To the right side is Lewis. Ferguson goes back to throw. Sets it up, has time, fires the out to the far side, Great. and it is caught for a first down to the Patriot 42 by Frank Lewis. Frank Lewis, a comeback pattern to the first down marker. That's all he did. Raymond Claiborne, the defender on the right side, left side defensively. Frank Lewis goes straight up field and angles back towards the sidelines. The ball perfectly thrown, the timing excellent. There's no way to defend against it. He caught the ball just a yard inside the sideline, but right beyond the first down marker, a heady play by the receiver, an outstanding throw by Ferguson, and Raymond Claiborne came limping out. Now yeah, Sidney Brown is back in his position. Brown is in at left corner now. The Bills may go to work there with Lewis on Brown. The tight end for Buffalo now is Frank Kowiak, an ankle injury sustained by Gantt. First and 10 Buffalo, Patriots 42. The give by Ferguson to Nolan and play action. Back to throw, lots of time. Fires over the middle, and it is incomplete intended for Chandler at the oh. 25. Hunt nearly intercepted, standing right in front of Chandler. Once again, Joe Ferguson is predetermining his receivers. He had no business going in there. The pass protection was excellent. Credit the great play faking by Ferguson. He faked a run play action. Step back had all the time. He just picked out the wrong receiver. So it's second and 10 Buffalo at the Patriot 42-yard line, and the snow continues to come down. Or it's a slippery field. Does one thing... It hurts a defensive charge because they just can't seem to get cooking on it. Second and ten, Buffalo. Miller, tailback in an eye formation. Johnson, the fullback, is the upback in the eye. Ferguson on a give to Miller. Quick hitter right side, oh, and he slams wow. it across the 40 to the Patriot 35. What holes they're opening up, yes, Gil. Sir. He is slashing right in there. The running backs of Buffalo now are slashing. They're not dogging it or sidestepping. They're going right up in there. That offensive surge is there. They're getting the holes. And he just knifed through there for six yards. Ball is marked down 
at the Patriot 36 yard line. It'll be third down and four for Buffalo at the Patriot 36. An ominous scene right now at Schaefer. Gray and cloudy, snow coming down. Buffalo leading 10 to seven. Third down and four. Patriot 36, big, big down. Ferguson calling signals. Long count, he drops back to pass. No rush, got lots of time, starts to run to the left. Being chased by Bishop and he's gonna run for a first down. Out of bounds at the 32 yard line. He ran for a first down. And so Buffalo keeps the drive alive as Joe Ferguson, not a great runner, found the opportunity and ran for the first down. The Patriots were giving chase, but neither Bishop nor Caustic nor Hamilton could catch up to him. The ball is marked down at around the 32-yard line. It should be enough for a Buffalo Bill first down. They're going to bring the chains all the way over from the other side of the field to measure. 5.51 to go, third quarter. Buffalo leads 10 to 7 on a 26-yard field goal by Tom Dempsey as the first half came to a close. And that was set up by a very poor 11-yard punt by Wilson. First down, Buffalo. Well, fine play by Joe Ferguson that time. He was trapped back there. He had nowhere to go. Once he drifted out to the left side, he was looking to hit his back, who had just gone downfield. Terry Miller just uh, over the first down marker. When he saw that he had the opening, once again, he had the first down marker in view, and he just made a beeline for it. First and 10, Buffalo Bills at the Patriot 31. This drive... I'll remind you, started at their own 20. It is Chandler left and Lewis right. Claiborne is still out. And Brown is in at the left corner. Miller the tail back in an eye formation. Tight end left is Frankowiak for Buffalo. Ferguson on a give to Terry Miller. Big hole up the middle. He slams it across the 25. He's going, all 20. He's going to go all the way for a touchdown. Terry Miller zips it into the end zone. A 32-yard touchdown run for Terry Miller. Gil, he... And now the Buffalo Bills lead at 16 to seven and the Patriots are in big trouble. Gil, it's a delayed handoff, a little bit of a lag. It gives that blocking a little chance to move their men out of there. It's not the quick hitter type of run. They give it to Terry Miller deep into the backfield, but he's going off tackle. Usually a back like that will be going wide when he gets it handed to him so deep in the backfield. But this way it's a lag type of pattern. You wait for that blocking to develop. A big hole opened up off of left tackle and he blew up in there, sidestepped one cornerback coming up, broke to the outside, and outran everybody. And Patriots now, are in trouble. You better believe it. They're down now 16-7, to seven, and Dempsey will try to add the 17th point for the Buffalo Bills. And they are on the verge of pulling an upset. Low snap, the kick is up, and it is good. And the teams come back upfield with a score. Buffalo 17, the Patriots 7. Let's take a timeout. <laughs> Mr. Businessman, do you have material handling problems? Consider the Crowen Solution. The Crowen Solution has become the problem solver for many Southern New England businessmen. Crowen Handling Equipment Company is New England's largest fleet of Alice Chammers lift trucks available for short or long-term leasing. And every Alice Chammers lease is custom tailored to fit your exact requirements. Why tie up your capital? Lease quality Alice Chammers lift trucks from Crowen. Why have maintenance problems? Let Crowen maintain your lift trucks. A Crowen Alice Chammers lease eliminates downtime with loaner machines if yours don't work. Why have more equipment than you need or less when Crowen's lift truck leases give you just what you need? Call Crowen for a complete survey of your material handling needs. In Rhode Island, call 438-6400. That's 438-6400. And in Worcester, call 617-869-6501. Crowen Handling Equipment Company, the solution people. <laughs> Five forty-three to go in the third period. The Buffalo Bills seventeen, the Patriots seven. That was a great drive for Buffalo, eighty yards and fourteen plays. And uh, now the Patriots have to come back and score. Not only that, they have got to be very much aware of not giving the ball up because another touchdown by Buffalo, say an intercepted pass or any business like that, and it could be sayonara time. It's going to be a tough ordeal, Gil. They have the ability to strike and strike fast. They're going to have to play that type of game now. Don Hasselbeck came out injured, looked like he wouldn't come back in. He's in there. All right, Dempsey set to kick it off for the Buffalo Bills. 5.43 to go, third quarter. Buffalo leads 17 to 7. Ivory deep for the Patriots. Not all that deep, though, at the 15 as the strong wind is blowing in Dempsey's face. Ivory comes into it. 
All right, the depth sea comes into it. It's a high, short kickoff. Westbrook is under it at the 25. Ivory takes it away from him. Heads for the 30, 35. Turns it outside at the 40. He is trying to look for the 45. Still on his feet at the 45. He is up to the 50-yard line. He is to the Buffalo 49. What a determined run. Horace Ivory, he could have been knocked over about five different occasions, but he fought his way, break, and to the 50-yard line. Gill, an excellent return. Horace Ivory, a most determined run. A very big return for Ivory. Let's pause 15 seconds. This is the BZ Patriots Football Network. Football fans, you may like him, you may hate him, but you can't ignore him. Howard Cosell. WHIM is the place to hear Howard Cosell sports commentary, speaking of sports. Weekday mornings at 845, 1110, WHIM, Providence. Patriots at the Buffalo 49. The give comes to Ivory to the right side at midfield. He's driving down to the Buffalo 45, and a gain of four. It'll be second and six. Over to make the tackle for the Bills, linebacker Lucius Sanford and defensive end Sherman White. Snow continuing to come down, but not as hard as it had been. Gill the Patri- marked 46. Go ahead, Patriots offense two times now at midfield in order to start a drive, and they've come up with nothing. Second down, six yards to go at the Buffalo 46. It is Westbrook wide to the right and Morgan to the left, Francis tight right. Rogan on a gift to Cunningham to the left. Breaks it outside at the 45, at the 40, down to the Buffalo 39, to the 38, and a first down. Sam Cunningham sliding to the Buffalo 38-yard line and a first down. Crowd starts to whoop it up. First and 10, Patriots, Buffalo 38-yard line. Jackson in and Westbrook out. Ball club now down by 10. They've got to come back on this drive and then... Look for the defense to hold Buffalo. Slot left Jackson, wide left Morgan. First and 10, it is Ivory to the right, smacking inside, and he gets only a couple of yards at the most to about the 35-yard line. The field now covered with a slick of snow. Ball is marked down at the Buffalo 36-yard line, a gain of two, and it'll be second down and eight for the Patriots at the Bills 36. Westbrook checks in and Jackson out. But the field underfooting, underfoot, like a skating rink at this point. Morgan to the right, Westbrook to the left, second and eight. Rogan back to throw, sets it up, looks, fires to the far side, complete to Westbrook, first down. That's the Buffalo, 25. Now they're starting to cook. Gil, if that scintillating run by Horace Ivory with that kickoff return doesn't ignite this team, then nothing will because that's the type of performance you look for, an outstanding individual effort by someone on the team to get them going and I have to go right back to that return Horace Ivory suffered two fumbles in this game was costly boy he took that ball and he was so determined it has to ignite this team if they are going to get under underway first and ten at the Buffalo 25 slot left Rogan calling signals the give is to no one uh, to Ivory rather to the right side he is inside the 25 to the 22 great ball handling by Grogan I didn't think he had handed the ball off Ball marked down at around the Buffalo Bill 22-yard line. It's difficult to tell now because the hash marks are covered with snow. But I would guess it's the 23-yard line in a two-yard game. Second down and eight. Westbrook back in. Jackson back out. 2.47. Clock running here in the third quarter. Buffalo leads 17-7. to Patriots break the huddle. Westbrook goes to the right. Morgan goes to the left. Francis is in the backfield on the right wing. The backs are split wide. Now Francis goes in motion to the right. Grogan goes back to throw. Sets it up. Fires over the middle. It is complete down to the five to the four-yard line. All right, now they're opening it up, Gil. They had Francis going in motion to the right side. He becomes the wide man. He goes straight up the field. Donnie Westbrook then going over the middle, finding an open spot. Grogan picked him out, got the ball to him, fine reception. Westbrook coming up with two big receptions in this drive. Indeed, Donnie Westbrook over the middle at the Buffalo Bill four-yard line, a fine reception at his first and touchdown to go for the Patriots at the Buffalo Bill four. Buffalo leads 17-7. The Patriots on the kickoff return by Ivory to midfield seem to have come to life. Double tight ends, Hasselbeck right wing. Grogan asks the crowd for some silence. First and touchdown to go. Hasselbeck in motion left. Rogan rolling to the right side. Looking in the end zone. Going to carry it. Driving down. Touchdown! Steve Grogan a four-yard run. A uh, great choice by Grogan. He had Francis in the end zone, but he saw that it was there. Put his head down and pulled his way in. A minute and 38 seconds to go in the third quarter. Steve Grogan 
goes four yards for a touchdown as the Patriots drive 50 yards in the space of four minutes to make it a 17 to 9, uh, 13 ball game and the extra point attempt coming now by Posey. Dick Kahn will hold. All right, David Posey set to try the extra point. Dick Kahn to hold. Snap ball down. The kick is up and it is good and the teams come back upfield with 1.38 to go in the third quarter. Steve Brogan. He did the job on that drive, Gino, passing and running. This. Yes, he did. He's usually the guy that gets that offense going. But once again, I have to allude to that great run by Horace Ivory. It was a high kickoff and short. He fielded it at about the 28 and just worked his way upfield, spinning off tackles, not being knocked down. Five different guys had shots at him. He brought that ball up to midfield, but it's the way he did it. It wasn't that long a run, but the way he did it and got it to midfield, that had to give the Patriots what they needed. And a big factor, uh, Gino, uh, about the fact that they scored a touchdown here with the final uh, minute and a half of the third quarter, rather than going into the fourth quarter to score, it enables Posey to kick off with the wind at his back. Right. So it's 17 to 14. Buffalo still leads by three, but the Patriots showed us some stuff on that drive that we've been waiting for the whole ball game, to be perfectly honest with you. Right, they opened it up. He went to Donnie Westbrook out on the left flat. Uh, Stanley Morgan being hampered somewhat with a toe injury. It's very difficult to dig out and cut when you have a sore toe. And Donnie Westbrook filling in, made a fine reception out on the left sidelines, and then made another fine reception right over the middle, down to the four-yard line with the ball at the 22. So Donnie Westbrook, Steve Grogan combining good surges by the offensive line and a determined run by Steve Grogan into the end zone for the touchdown. So That's we're back in it. Fifth touchdown of the season. And now Posey to kick off to Johnson and Moody deep for Buffalo. The snow has stopped. Posey's kickoff is flat, bouncing, picked up by one of the upmen. That's Frankowiak at the 35 and out to the 38-yard line. Mike Frankowiak, first and 10 Buffalo at about their own 38. Well, they didn't want to give him that kind of position, I don't think. Now the crowd, I'm sure, will start to whoop it up for the defense. The ball is marked at the 37-yard line of Buffalo. And here's where the defensive team has got to come up with a stand and stop the Buffalo Bills, do not allow them to score again, and hope that they can get the ball quickly back to the offense because they're hot. First and 10 Bills. Chandler left, Lewis right. The running backs are Johnson and Miller in an eye formation. Ferguson calling signals. Miller the tail back in the eye. Joe Ferguson first down. It's the Terry Miller cutting up inside and slapped down at the 41-yard line, a gain of four. Rod Schote, no, the 55, not 56. That's Raymond Kostick making the tackle. It's a gain of four for Miller, second and six. Same play they scored on. When Miller ran through 32 yards for the touchdown. With 5.43 to go in the third quarter, they came right back with it here and picked up four yards. Buffalo on second down and six. Gant is back into the ball game at tight end. He goes tight to the left. Chandler's wide to the left. Lewis wide to the right. Claiborne still out. Brown playing the left corner. Ferguson calling signal. Second down. The handoff comes to Dennis Johnson to the right. He is hit as he gets it out across the 45 to about the 46 and very close to a first down. Now they're saying there was a fumble on the play and the Patriots are claiming that they had the ball but the officials rule Buffalo recovered. So the Bills have a first... Uh, or have the football, they don't have a first down. It'll be third down and a yard for Buffalo at their own 46. Two good runs though, Gil, by the Buffalo offense in this situation. The Patriots just scoring. That defense has to contain them. They have to get that ball back to the offense of the Patriots. Got to give the Bills credit for the pride Absolutely. that they're showing. Absolutely. Coming in here four and 10 and they're playing hard. All right, third down and a yard to go Buffalo, their own 46. Double tight ends, Chandler right wing. Ferguson calling signals, long count, looking to draw the pats off. He doesn't, it goes to Miller. Hit hard and spun down, he stopped short. Fourth down, Buffalo. Miller swept to the right side, he was hit and spun down. And it is fourth down for the Buffalo Bills and a yard to go at their own 46. Uh, those are the plays that really get the team going. Now let's see if the Bills will go for it. Oh, I doubt it. Well... I don't see anybody moving onto the field to punt the ball. That is the end of the third quarter.
The score after three quarters at Schaefer Stadium. Buffalo 17, the Patriots 14. Homeowners, are oil burner repairs killing your budget? Is your present service contract too high? Douglas Oil has a fabulous offer for you. You see, Douglas Oil offers you complete protection with an all-inclusive oil burner contract for only $15 per year. You heard right, $15 per year when you buy your oil from Douglas. Listen, no limit on service calls, day or night. Includes parts, labor, annual cleanups. No gimmicks. Parts covered listed, parts not covered are listed. Money cheerfully refunded if not completely satisfied within 60 days. Why pay more? Examine our contract today. No obligation. Call today or stop in. Check out the new super discount on oil. Save two and a half cents per gallon for prompt payment. Douglas Oil. Thousands of satisfied customers in the area. Check the conservation specials on boilers and burners. Stop in today. Douglas Oil. 667 Douglas Avenue, Providence. Or call 331-5223. 331-5223. Douglas Oil. Super service from a super company with a super deal. Well, the Buffalo Bills punting unit has come on. Rusty Jackson back at his own 30-yard line. The up men for the Bills, Eddie McMillan, a cornerback, along with linebacker Doug Becker and Mike Frankowiak, who used to be a running back, a quarterback. So you never know, Gino. Well, I'm sure the Patriots are looking for it. I kind of doubt that uh, Buffalo would do it in this uh, situation, Gil. Their job now is to get that ball downfield, and uh, their defense has been doing a fairly good job of stopping the run so uh, the Patriots lined up in a way that they are looking for any kind of snap to the up back and uh, a run but I would have to believe Buffalo will punt the ball out of here deep man for the Patriots and see if I can pick out that yard marker inside the 20 is Stanley Morgan we're starting the fourth quarter with a punt by the Buffalo Bills great third down defensive stand by the Patriots stopping Miller on third and one All right back at his uh, 31 yard line is Rusty Jackson to punt for Buffalo He's awaiting the snap. It's a direct snap to Jackson, and he will kick it. Lines it to the right side. Morgan under it at the 20. At the 25. Morgan to the left side, spinning and knocked out of bounds on the near side at about the 29-yard line. Oh, so here's where the Patriots' offense comes on. First and 10 at their own 29, trailing 17 to 14. Buffalo not getting strong punting whatsoever. All low line drive kicks, not even spiraling. Uh, so the Patriots getting good field position. Morgan that time playing up short. Got it and had some room to run. They're not in bad position at the 30-yard line. First and 10 for the Patriots at their own 30. Steve Grogan, who engineered the last touchdown drive with some great pinpoint passing and then the touchdown run, brings him out of the huddle. Jackson slot right. Crowd starts to whoop it up. Morgan wide to the right. Backs in a wide split. Cunningham and Ivory. They give to Horace Ivory. Trying to cut up the middle. Turning to the right. Running hard. And he's still on his feet out to the 36-yard line. And a gain of six. Brought down by Shane Nelson and Sherman White of Buffalo. Along with Green, the safety man. But it's a strong six-yard gain. Maybe even seven. It is a seven-yard gain for Ivory. How many yards does Horace Ivory have, Raj Homan? Cracked statistician. What is that? Uh, 80? No, si 64. 64 yards rushing. He's been in since the first quarter when Andy Johnson went out with a hamstring pull. Second and four Patriots at their own 37. Grogan on a give to Cunningham. Busts it up the middle. First down running hard and Sam Bam is out across the 40 to the 43. Patriots offensive line. Duke is suddenly starting to really blow people away along that line of scrimmage. Right. They're coming off that ball real hard now. They know they're going to run that ball and try to get good first down yardage and if they do they will continue to run. Remind you they're only three points down. They can work for field goal position or they can go all the way. They're only down by three. First and ten Patriots. Their own 43 yard line. Slot left Jackson. Grogan back to throw and first down. Lots of time. Fires over the middle. Francis has it at the 40. Francis inside the 40 to the Buffalo 37. First down. Grogan to Russ Francis at the Buffalo Bill 37-yard line. And the crowd of 60,000 at Schaefer, most of them still here, freezing. Now starting to warm up a little bit. All right, excellent call. First down situation. You had to believe Buffalo was watching for the run, but no. Steve Grogan dropped back. Russ Francis over the middle, the big guy. First and 10 Patriots at the Buffalo 37. Westbrook into the left slot. Morgan wide to the left. 
Cunningham and Ivory in a closed set in the backfield. It is Cunningham up the middle, shuffling for yardage on his feet, breaking tackles to the 29-yard line. And a nine-yard carry for Sam Bam. It is second and one. Tackle made by Freeman and Nelson of Buffalo. But Cunningham just blasting up the middle for nine yards. It is second down and a yard to go at the Buffalo Bill 29-yard line. Time remaining, 12 and a half minutes, fourth and final quarter of play. Patriots, if they win, win the Eastern Division. Wide left, Morgan. Left slot, Jackson. Backs in a wide split. Francis tight right. Second and a yard at the Bill 29. Ivory the call, driving first down to the Buffalo 27-yard line. He was cut down by Freeman of Buffalo, along with the uh, linebacker Tom Graham, the veteran, the ball spotted down at the Bills 27 yard line. First down and 10 for the Patriots. This drive started at their own 30 yard line. After the Patriots forced the Bills to punt. Third down and one and a big defensive play made by the Patriot front line and Tim Fox who came out of the secondary to stop Miller on that third and one. And now the Patriots are charged up. They send Westbrook to the right, Morgan to the left. First and 10. Tight end right, Francis. Grogan the gift to Cunningham. Left side, breaks it across the 25 to the 23-yard line. And a gain on the play of four yards. Yes, it's the offensive line now, Gil, that's really driving the defense of Buffalo back because the holes are not really there. Cunningham and Ivory just leaning against their wall, and they're moving forward. So once again, good first down yardage. It appeared like there was nothing on that run. But... Cunningham just staying behind that surge of the offensive line is getting downfield. And now Hasselbeck comes in replacing Westbrook. It's a double tight end offense for the Patriots. Second down and six at the Buffalo 23. In motion to the right goes Morgan. Rogan calling signals. Play action fake. Bootlegging right. left. He is in trouble. He's trying to turn it outside. He is brought down at the 24 yard line and they lose a yard. They tried to run Grogan on the bootleg, but Buffalo de diagnosed it well. The man making the tackle, Ben Williams, along with defensive back Mario Clark over there. So the Patriots lose a yard, and now they're third and uh, seven well, out of the Buffalo 24. The Patriots have been fairly consistent in their pattern of when they're running that bootleg, and the teams are looking for it. Dallas did it last week in the same type situation on a second down and long yardage, and also in this territory somewhere around the 25-30 they look for Grogan and here the Buffalo Bills also waiting for it all right it is third down and seven at the Buffalo 24 Jackson left Morgan right Francis in motion to the left Grogan is back to throw rolls to the right steps up fires for Francis incomplete at the nine yard line cutting right in front of Russ Francis was defensive back Doug Jones. Doug Jones had a bona fide shot at an interception too, Gil. He just stuck up his hand to knock it down. Steve Grogan under tremendous pressure. He was waiting for something to open. He had Harold Jackson in the slot on the left side going in over the middle. Harold had difficulty shaking his man and getting downfield. And then he had to go over to Francis. And when he did, it just was not well up, well set up. Now the Patriots forced to go for a field goal attempt. David Posey being called on to try to tie this score. It'll be a 42-yard attempt for Posey. The angle is to his right. Ball on the near hash mark with Kahn to hold. A 42-yard field goal attempt with 10 minutes to go in the game. Dick Kahn to hold. 17-14 Buffalo leads. The snap, the ball is down. The kick by Posey is up and it is no good. So Buffalo holds, and they take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Posey just didn't get it airborne, Gil. He had difficulty on that last kickoff that you pointed out downfield. He hit it high in the ball, and this was the same case. He's not getting it up. With a score, Buffalo 17, the Patriots 14. Let's take a timeout. Up 
they were going to score that drive the way they were moving down the field but no question the second down play and the bootleg attempt by Grogan ending up with the loss of a yard really uh, hurt them badly wow that was the play and then the field goal attempt David Posey having difficulty Giants leading St. Louis 17 to nothing in the fourth first and 10 Buffalo at their own 25 Dennis Johnson the full back and uh, Miller the tail back in an eye formation Bills lead it by three the give us to Miller to the left side hit and rocked at the 25 yard line Defense coming to the fore. Right, and you're going to see them really taking a lot of shots. They're going to try to jar that ball loose. Uh, Buffalo not victimized by any fumbles in today's ball game. The Patriots defensively know that that's what they have to do at this point. Not only stop them from getting any kind of gain, but there are going to be a lot of hits being taken at that ball. It is a gain of a yard for Terry Miller, second down and nine to the 26-yard line. Bills break it out. Hooks replaces Miller in the backfield. They send Chandler left and Lewis right. The tight end of the left side is Reuben Gant. Joe Ferguson, the quarterback, on second and nine. At the 26, the pitch out comes to uh, Johnson to the right side, and he is wrecked as he hits the 29-yard line. Was he nailed by Fox? Got to be Timmy Fox, the way he comes up and hits. And once again, Timmy trying to do more than just knock him down. He was trying to jar that ball loose. Well, Gil, the Dallas Cowboys have sent out the signal. Yeah, they're ready. They have sent out the signal. They are leading Philadelphia in the fourth period, 31 to 7. Right here, Buffalo leads 17 to 14. The clock running, 8 minutes, 50 seconds to go in the game. Buffalo leads 17 14. The Bills third down, 5 at their own 30. And the backs are split. Johnson and Miller. Into the right slot is Chandler. Wide to the right is Lewis. Tight end left is Gant. In motion left goes Chandler. Calling signals Ferguson. Straight back to pass. Here's the rush. He is going to be sacked. A fumble on the play. The Patriots have the ball. First down, Patriots at the Buffalo 20 yard line. Tony McGee. Ferguson did not even see him. Tony McGee busted through. You could see it happening. And he planted Ferguson from the side. The ball just came popping loose, and the Patriots there to recover at the 20 yard line. Tony McGee. What an effort he made fighting off the block of the offensive right tackle for the Buffalo Bills. Number 77, 72, Ken Jones. What a job. Tony McGee did it. Mack the sack. Chicago Tony. And a big, big play by the defense. It is first and 10 Patriots at the Buffalo 20-yard line. Jackson into the left slot. Morgan wide to the left. The back's in a tight set. Grogan in first down. The give is to Ivory to the right. Cuts inside. He's on his feet at the 15, at the 10, at the 5. Touchdown! Horace Ivory goes in. A 20-yard run, and the Patriots jump out on top. Horace Ivory goes 20 yards for a Patriot touchdown, and they lead 20 to 17 with 8.23 to go. Just a fantastic turn of events that took place here. One by a defensive player and one by an offensive player. Horace Ivory in the end zone right now. He's hurt, Gil. He's getting some assistance, but what a play. A fake up the middle of Sam Cunningham. A handoff to Horace Ivory going right. He just shed two tacklers, one by Graham, the linebacker who came over. And Horace Ivory with that ability to just appear to be so slippery. When somebody grabs him, they slide right off. And he just had a nose for that end zone. In he went. A big touchdown for the Patriots. 8.23 to go in this ball game, And they finally go ahead for the first time. Ivory appears to have injured his right foot on that touchdown run. For Horace, that is his 11th touchdown of the year. And what a great performance this young man has turned in this season. Listen to the hand for Ivory as he comes off the field pretty much under his own steam. Right, apparently what happened was Ivory ran out of his shoe and oh. twisted his ankle on the snow. Sli you know, slipping and sliding. What a run by Ivory, though. He turned that corner following uh, John Hanna, and he cut inside the block by Hanna. So two big plays, a sack and a fumble, forced by Tony McGee, and then a 20-yard touchdown run by Horace Ivory. And the Patriots lead 20-17 to 
with 8.23 to go in the game. And this crowd at Schaefer in the last couple of minutes has really come to life. They have never seen, in 19 years, they have never seen the New England Patriots win a divisional championship. And so they are here this afternoon hoping to see it in bitter cold. And these are the people that deserve to see it. Snap ball down for the extra point. It is up and good, and the teams come back upfield. Let's take a timeout with a score. The Patriots 21 and the Buffalo Bills 17. Something extra that you didn't expect. Extra service that you won't forget. Something extra coming your way. Something extra. It's InBank Super 7 Reward. You'll earn super high interest plus one of more than 40 expensive gifts with this new savings account at InBank. Gifts like a new car, boat, bean coat, and more. InBank Super 7 Reward. It's a valuable gift and super interest. Now that's something extra. Something extra. Member FDIC. All right, back at Schaefer Stadium, and Gino, quite a turn of events in the last couple of minutes. Oh, the Patriots starting the fourth quarter just moved beautifully from their own 20 down to the 20 yard line of the Buffalo Bills, and that's where their drive stalled. Things were a little dampened at that time. And then the Buffalo Bills, in an effort to run out of their own territory, a big hit, a fumble, a recovery, and on first down, a touchdown run. The Patriots are ahead, and they should have. <laughs> they should have be as sky high as they had hoped to be starting this game right now, Gil. All right, Posey to kick it off. End over end. And coming up under it for Buffalo is Moody at the 20. At the 25, turning left and hit and knocked down. What a hit. What a hit made by James McAllister at the 27-yard line. Tell you, the Patriots right now are flying up and down the field, offensively, defensively, and special teams. First and 10, Buffalo at their own 27. 8.14 to go, and the crowd picks it up, yelling defense. Ugh. Patriots, eight seconds on the 20-yard touchdown run. One play, 20 yards for a touchdown. First and 10, Buffalo, their own 27. Ferguson calling signals for the Bills. He has Miller, the tail back in an eye. Johnson is the fullback. Chandler to the right, Lewis to the left, back to pass Ferguson, quick out, far side, incomplete, intended for Lewis. Second and ten for the Bills. Did I say 27? I'm sorry, it's the 32-yard line. The snow has pretty well allowed, kind of covered up the yard uh, markers. And I was off by five, so oh, it is you, second and ten. You were never good with snow anyway. Uh, oh, I'm not bad in the snow. Second and ten, Buffalo at their own 32. Chandler right, Lewis left. Hooks in the backfield now, replacing Miller. Second down call for Ferguson. Play action fake, back to throw. Here's the rush, gets it away. It's a screen, complete to Johnson. At the 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. He's across the Patriot midfield, striped to the 40-yard line before he's finally brought down. Coming up hard was safety man Doug Bedoin along with uh, Haynes. But I'll tell you, the Bills just ran off a screen play beautifully all the way to the Patriot 40-yard line as Ferguson just let them all come in. He let them come in, and I got to tell you, he is lucky he got that ball off, but a great bit of quarterbacking by Joe Ferguson under a tremendous amount of pressure from Ray Caustic, a blitzing linebacker. How he got the ball to Johnson, I'll never know, but what a job he did running down that sidelines as well. Chandler right, Lewis left. The backs are in a wide split. Miller and Johnson. Ferguson calling signals. Straight back to throw. Here's the rush. He runs to the right to avoid the rush. He fires it upfield. It is complete to Gant. Inside the 15-yard line to the 12. Oh, he had Doug Bedoin draped all over him. Ferguson came out from under a hard rush. He rolled out to the right, Gill. And he had a chance to run with the ball, but he threw to Gant. And I got to tell you, 
I was very suspicious of him getting the ball there because Bedoin was all over him, but Gant leaped high in the air, made the reception, and held on. On the completion from Ferguson to Gant, it is first and 10 Buffalo at the Patriot 12. 5.50 to go in the game. The Patriots lead 21-17. Hooks the tail back in an eye formation. Ferguson calling signals. The give is to Roland Hooks to the left. He is hit and swarmed under as he gets to the 10. A gain of two. It'll be second down and eight Buffalo at the Patriot 10-yard line. Up to make the stop was uh, Ray Hamilton along with Rod Schoet. Now McGee comes in replacing Lunsford at left defensive end. Hamilton is the nose tackle. Bishop the right end. Linebackers remain the same. King, Schoet, Costick, and Hunt. The defensive backs, Haynes, Fox, Bedoin, and Brown. Claiborne went out in the quarter, third quarter, with a leg injury. Five minutes to go in the ball game. It's Chandler right. Brown is on him. Lewis to the left. Ferguson back to throw. Sets it up. Let's it go to the end zone. And is caught for a touchdown by Frank Lewis in behind Haynes. And the Bills go ahead. 23 to 21. Joe Ferguson with 439 to go in the game. Rifles a touchdown pass. Gil, that was an excellent throw and an excellent catch right at the end line marker. Joe Ferguson just threw it in there. Michael Haynes in front. He threw it over Michael Haynes. And Timmy Fox, who came over to support, that once Haynes released him, just a superb throw, I thought, on that play. It had to be that type of throw. And now Dempsey will attempt to make it 24. And Chandler will hold. And the Patriots now have to come all the way back down the field. All right, set to go. Snap the ball is down. The kick is up, and it is good. And now Buffalo leads 24 to 21. And with only 4.39 to go in the game, the Patriots have their backs to the wall. They've got to come all the way back down the field for at least a field goal opportunity, but I'm sure they don't want a field goal. They want a touchdown. Uh, Gene, I'll tell you the truth. I am surprised that Buffalo was able to march the field and score a touchdown. Well, it was that big screen pass that got them going, Gil. They were back at their 32, and once Ferguson under a big rush, I don't know how he got that ball off to Johnson, who is in there now playing uh, in place of Curtis Brown. Where's number 39, just like Sam Cunningham, and on that screen play, he ran like Cunningham, but how he got that ball off to him, I just don't know. It was a tremendous effort on Ferguson's part. That got them going at their own 32, and then Johnson ran it down to the 40-yard line of the Patriots, and then that superb catch by Reuben Gant over Doug Bedoin, that kept it going, and here, this play right here, when it appeared like he wanted to go for... Uh, Bob Chandler, who was going on a little delay pattern over the middle. He looked at him, he checked, and he went back to the left side and picked out Frank Lewis deep in the end zone, similar. Uh, it looked like it was close to going out at the end, but he did a superb job of keeping his feet inbounds and then falling over the end line with the ball. So some great individual plays by the Buffalo Bills. And now we're going to need more by the Patriots because they're down by three with 4.39 to go. Dempsey to kick it off. It is end over end and now squibbling down. Let it, let it go to bounce. And it bounces oh. over the head of Horace Ivory, picks it up at the goal line. He is trying to move to the left of the 5, 10, and knocked out of bounds at the 15-yard line, 16-yard line. Not a smart mm. choice by well, Ivory. It was a tough decision because when it bounced in front of him, he was hoping that perhaps it would take a bounce to go out of bounds and force Buffalo to kick over. It did take a bounce towards the end zone. He fielded it at about the one. His momentum carried him into the end zone, maybe about a yard. And being the type of player he is, he just ran it out of there. As it turned out, the coverage was down there. He had nowhere to go because it was close to the sidelines. He just didn't have the room to maneuver. All right, now the Buffalo Bills defense has got to be fired up. They sense an upset. They're ahead by three, and they could knock the Patriots into a tie with Miami for the divisional lead. First and ten Patriots, their own 17. Four and a half minutes to go in the game. They're down by three. Call comes to Cunningham up the middle, runs it out to about the 20-yard line and a gain of three. It'll be second down and seven for the Patriots. Clark making the tackle with Mike Kadish for Buffalo. Second down, seven for the Patriots at their own 20. Westbrook comes in as a wide receiver, and he'll replace Harold Jackson. All right down in Cleveland, the Browns had a 27-10 lead, and New York is closing in 27-24 down there. Second down, seven, Patriots at their own 20. Out of the left slot in motion to the right goes Westbrook. 
And Grogan is back to throw. Sets it up. Protection. Pump fakes. Now oh, he's, he's running. He's at, he's at the 15, at the 20. Run. He's at the 25, at the 30, 35. He's at the 40. Runs up ah. the 43-yard line. First down. Steve Grogan taking him on. He had a tremendous amount of room down the left sideline. As many quarterbacks would just work that sideline and step out before the last hit. No, he didn't do that. Free safety, Tony Green came up to run him out of bounds. Steve Grogan took him on head-to-head, knocked him backwards, and even picked up two, three more yards. First and ten Patriots at their own 43. Trying to move right to left here in the closing minutes, 342 to go. Buffalo leads 24 to 21. It's been a wild game with the Patriots having opportunities early, two of them, but coming up empty both times. Now the Pats are trying to come back. Backs in a split, Cunningham and Ivory. Slot right is Jackson. Grogan on first down. Play action, fake Grogan. Back to throw. Sets it up. Fires over the middle. It is incomplete. He was hit just as he got the ball away by Sherman White. Well, the play action didn't work. White didn't go for the run up the middle. It was good faking by Grogan, but once he stepped back after making the fake, White was right there on top of him. He had to throw the ball quickly. He was trying to find Westbrook up the seam, our Harold Jackson, and uh, it was just underthrown. So now the Patriots are faced with second and ten in a difficult situation because now the Bills will be playing fast with 3.37 to go. The difference right now, a missed field goal by Posey. Buffalo leading by three, 24-21. Cold afternoon at Schaefer. Crowd of 60,000 still here. Backs are in a split now. Ivory and Cunningham. Westbrook is to the left. Now he comes in motion. As Grogan calls signals on second and ten, he's back to throw. Sets it up. Got the blocking. Going to be hit. Gets the ball away. Caught by Morgan at the 40. 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, the 10, and knocked down at the 5. First and goal to go. Grogan to Stanley Morgan. Gil, I can't recall ever seeing a finer throw by Steve Grogan with two men right on top of him. He was looking for Horace Ivory. He penciled that thing right into Stanley Morgan, who was well covered. He just led him by a one step that he needed as number 26, Charlie Romes, was right with Stanley Morgan. It had to be a perfect throw, and under that type of pressure, a tremendous throw by Steve Grogan, a tremendous reception by Stanley Morgan, down to the five-yard line, the biggest play that the Patriots have pulled off in this ballgame. It went for, let's see, how many yards? The ball is marked at the five-yard line. How many yards, Raj Holman? A 52-yard pass completion. Grogan to Morgan. So Grogan with a big run and then a big pass completion to Stanley Morgan. Morgan coming out, limping a bit. The Patriots are first down and touchdown to go at the Buffalo Bill 5. And I just saw what I had hoped to see and what everybody wanted to see. The Patriot offense got into a huddle, helmet to helmet, grabbing each other's hands, saying, let's go. Well, they got the shot here. It is first and touchdown to go at the Buffalo Bill 5. Ivory and Cunningham are the running backs. The Patriots come out in a three tight end offense. They've got Hasselbeck on the right wing. Cunningham, the fullback offset, left half is Ivory. First and goal to go. In motion, to the left goes Hasselbeck. It's Cunningham up the middle, driving it down to the one-yard line. Second down and goal to go. Patriots at the Buffalo 1. Cunningham smashing it right up the middle. The clock continues to run with three minutes to go in the game, and here comes Andy Johnson in. And he will replace Ivory. Ball marked at the two-yard line. Second and goal to go. Patriots, Buffalo, Bill 2. Two Gil, minutes, 55 seconds, clock running. Go ahead, There Duke. is absolutely no force that should deny the Patriots from getting in the end zone here. All right, they break the huddle. Again, the three tight ends. Hasselbeck on the left wing. Johnson in. At a running back position with Cunningham in the backfield. Grogan calling signals. It's Johnson. Cunningham hurdling. A fumble! A fumble on the play! The ball squirted right out of Cunningham's hands. As he tried to hurdle the pile, I think Buffalo recovered. Sam We're waiting Cunningham. for everyone to unpile. Sam Cunningham diving over, was just met head on by a linebacker, and the ball shot straight up in the air. It's down at the three yard line. They're waiting to uncover everyone. Buffalo recovered. No. Oh, no. Buffalo recovered. The Patriots with second and goal at the Buffalo two. Cunningham tried to hurdle the pile. And as he was hit, the ball came squirting out of his arms, and the Buffalo Bills recovered, and they have it first and goal 
or a first down rather at their own what is it two yard line holy smoke two and a half minutes to go in the game the Patriots drive to the Bills two yard line and lose it on a fumble well Gill another Johnson is the one who made that play it was Dennis Johnson the defensive lineman they have two of them I right there was the Dennis Johnson offensively with the big screen play to get them their touchdown and now Dennis Johnson defensive tackle I thought it was a linebacker just met Sam Cunningham who was there born head on hit him in the shoulder and popped the ball loose first and ten Buffalo at their own three yard line Ferguson calling signals Ferguson the gift to Terry Miller to the left side try to break it outside but he is hauled down at the three all right, it is second down and 10 Buffalo. No gain in the play. Second and 10 at their own three. Double tight ends. Chandler left wing. The give is to Miller. Sweeping it wide to the left. He's going to gain yardage at the five and up to the seven, but he's hurled back there. Stopped at the seven-yard line. It is third and six for Buffalo. The clock running down. It'll run down to the two-minute warning. It'll be third down. Third down and six for Buffalo at their own seven. They had a first and goal at the four. The Patriots did, and then second and goal at the two. Cunningham tried to hurdle it up and in. The ball knocked out of his hands, and Buffalo recovered at their own three. Big third down play here. Buffalo gets a first down. You can kiss it goodbye. Ferguson calling signals. Double tight end. Chandler left wing. Ferguson on a give to Miller, sweeping wide to the left. He is not going to be hemmed in. He has a first down. Out to the 13-yard line. They pick up the crucial first down, and that should do it. They're saying that he's just a little bit short of the first down marker, Gil. He was forced out of bounds. But the pursuit of the Patriots just yep. was not there. The pulling guards of Buffalo out to the left side. You could see that. You could see the defense just cave in there, and it gave him room to get to the outside. He did not make it. I'm stunned. I thought he had it, but he was knocked out of bounds, and it stopped the clock, of course, with 1.55 to go. Stanley Morgan is deep at midfield for the Patriots. They trail 24-21 to, to the Buffalo Bills. They have two timeouts left and a minute and 55 to go in the game. Buffalo leads 24 to 21. And now the Bills line up in a punt formation. Standing in the end zone is Jackson. The punt for Buffalo. And they have not been getting strong punting from Jackson. Deep for the Patriots at midfield is Morgan. Now, of course, you've got to watch out for a fake punt. They've got nothing to lose. Or take the automatic safety in the end zone. The snap is to Jackson. He is not, he is going to take the safety. He's running back into the end zone, and he's going to take the safety to make it 24 to 23 with a minute and 48 to go. So you hit it right on the head, Gino. You hit it right on the head. Smart play by the Buffalo Bills. All right, Morgan stands at his 35, and Rusty Jackson to free kick it for Buffalo after they took the safety to hold on to a one-point lead. He hits it high and tumbling. Coming down to Morgan at the 35, 40, 45, 50. And across the 50 to the Buffalo 47, where it's first and 10 for the Patriot offense at the Buffalo Bill 47-yard line. And the offense comes onto the field for one last shot. They're down by one point, 24-23. Crowd whooping it up, trying to urge the Patriots on. Patriots first and 10 at the Buffalo 47, a minute and 43 to go. Hang on. Jackson is right. Morgan is left. The running backs, Cunningham and Ivory, are split. Rogan back to throw and first down. Sets it up, fires near side, diving catch by Jackson at the Buffalo 43 for a first down. The clock continues to run with 136. 130 now. A minute and 30 seconds to go in the game, and the clock running down to 125. Patriots in a two minute drill. Backs in a split. Drogan back to throw. Sets it up, fires over the middle, cut by Ivory at the 40, 35, and drop, but it's a first down. So the clock should stop on the first down. The clock is still running here. They have a first down. They should call timeout. They do. Especially at home, it should stop. Buffalo ahead by a point. The Patriots 35 yards away. They were two yards away a minute ago, and they fumbled the ball. Jackson wide to the right, and the backs are split wide. Pennywell wide to the left. Krogan back to throw. Quarterback, quarterback draw. draw. He's at the 35. He is brought down at the 29-yard line on a shoestring tackle made by defensive lineman D. Hardison. And they have to hurry up. They got to save that timeout for a possible field goal, Gil. They have to save it. They can't use it. Five-yard gain by Grogan. It is second and five at the Buffalo 29. 
Brogan back to throw on second and five. He looks, he fires to the right. Cunningham has it. Down and out of bounds at the Buffalo 21. Oh, probably one of the biggest catches Sam Cunningham will make. He's not that great a receiver coming out of the backfield, going away with it. 45 seconds left in the game. Cunningham caught the ball and ran out of bounds at the Bills 21, stopping the clock. Now Andy Johnson comes in, and Horace Ivory comes out. Johnson brings in the play. Wide to the right, Jackson. Wide to the left, Pennywell. Francis split off a yard to the right. First and 10. They give to Cunningham up the middle. Inside the 15. Inside the 10. Twisting and turning down to the 7-yard line. What a big run. First and goal to go. Patriots at the Buffalo Bill 7. The Damn clock running. Cunningham. 30 seconds. 30 seconds left to play in the game. The clock running. Brogan yelling to both sides of the line. First and goal to go at the Buffalo 7. Brogan back to throw. Fires it over the head of Morgan and stops the clock with 22 seconds left. <laughs> Holy smoke, what a run by Cunningham. He ripped it off for 13 uh, yards, or 17 yards, rather, to the Buffalo Bills' seven-yard line. It is uh, second and goal. Gill just caught the Buffalo defense off guard on that play. A tremendous call, throwing to Sam Cunningham out on the wide flat. You're not looking for him to get the pass. He caught the pass. And then to run a trap, a sucker off a left guard right up the middle. The Buffalo defense certainly just take, taking care of the flanks feeling like the Pagers would want to go wide and try to get it out of bounds with a pass or a run. They crossed them up, went straight up the middle. They are knocking at the door, Gill. Once again, how can they be denied? There's one timeout left, 22 seconds to go in the game. First and goal at the Buffalo 7. The give to Ivory to the left. He spins away at the 5, running hard to the 3-yard line and stopped at the 3. It is second down, third down, and goal to go at the Buffalo Bill 3-yard line. The clock running with 11 seconds to go. And now the clock is stopped with 11 seconds left as the Patriots call their final timeout. All right, it's come down to this. The ball is at the Buffalo Bill, four-yard line. The Patriots field goal unit is on. David Posey missed one earlier in the game. He had two blocked last week at Dallas. He will attempt a field goal of 21 yards, and Dick Kahn will hold with 11 seconds to go in the game. The Patriots either win it or lose it right here. A 21-yard field goal attempt by, Dick, by David Posey. Posey, 21-yard field goal attempt, the ball down, the kick is up. It's good! It's good, David Posey! A 21-yard field goal! And the Patriots lead 26-24 with eight seconds to go in the game. David Posey banged it right through the uprights. A 21-yard oh. field goal with eight seconds left. And the Patriots are just jumping man and hopping all over each other. Posey and wrecked it right through the uprights. The fans are flooding the field, ladies gentlemen it's unbelievable the Patriots have worked their way down to field goal territory almost to the point where it would be a point after attempt David Posey with the pressure mounting because of the misses in Dallas the miss here and thinking about the blocks that took place all these things running through his mind this is the thing he needed this is the thing the Patriots needed from their kicking department to carry on the rest of the way a winning kick by David Posey, a 22-yard field goal. All right, Posey set to kick it off. The Patriots have to avoid a run back. He lines it, bouncing, bouncing. Frankowiak lets it hit. Picked up by Moody, drops it at the 20, heading for the left at the 25. He gets a great block at the 40. He's at the 45. He's at midfield. All they got to do is tackle him. The ball game is over. The Patriots win. They have won the Eastern Division. 26 to 24 over the Buffalo Bills. Schaefer Stadium is just a sea of fans rushing onto the field. You can see the way Moody dropped the ball, and as soon as he turned left, he had an open field, but that was running the time away, and all they had to do was tackle him, and Buffalo would have had no time left. And that's exactly what happened. They tackled him at about the 40-yard line. The ball game is over. The Patriots win it 26-24. to They win the Eastern Division Championship in the American Football Conference.